Hey, what is up, everybody? How are you doing? We're live. Hey, what am I doing? What am I doing in the GM's screen? That is a good question. I know exactly what we're doing in the G or I'm doing in the GM screen. I'm the GM. I say what goes. <laughs> so this is exciting. This is exciting. This is the um, Resident Evil Resident Roleplay uh, First Degree Villains miniseries. Obviously, I, I guess I'm the GM. Uh, mm -hmm. Players, please introduce yourselves. Uh, I guess okay, starting so from left to right on the okay. stream. Should yeah, what's up? Are we just introducing ourselves or just, Yeah, no, well? just introducing yourself just so we know who all okay. is, is playing. Okay. Hey, I'm Raph. I usually GM around here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mel. I usually play Katara for Resident Evil Play. Hello. Is that all? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> she is hello. Hi. <laughs> so please introduce yourselves with your name. <laughs> I'll be the resident ghost today. <laughs> um, white. As white can be. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have... Description given. Alright, so we have Ilo, Lisa, and Doc also playing with us. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and yes uh, Ilo you may have seen as Nuria in Resident Roleplay Lisa as Arkea Doc as Chauncey 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 yes and we'll be seeing some of that art coming up soon so I guess before we start, let's just talk about some really quick things for the for the game. Uh, there's going to be a, some homebrew rules. For the most part, I went over the details with you guys of, about the economic points. So your money is, isn't is going to be tracked like per dollar. You have a certain amount of economic points that approximate the wealth that you have access to and like your your economic pull. Uh, for, your, for short rests, I don't think everybody was here the last time I used this. Uh, homebrew. So let me just go over it. So with short, the way short rests work now is instead of taking one hour to completely refill all of your resources or, or whatever that you get during a short rest, you take 10 minutes per resource that you recover, uh, or or per, I guess like you know thing that you do because you can spend hit dice during short rests and all that, and every one of those resources that you spend or recover. Uh, takes an extra 10 minutes long so if you wanted to you can just stop take a 10 minute break and re recover one resource or you can stop take like a 50 minute break and everybody can like refill all their their hit dice their character or their uh, class resources and whatnot so that's how that works if you need any more details about that i guess we could just go over it with the next short rest you guys take mm. so I guess that is all the pre-beginning stuff that we have to get through. You guys ready to start? All right. I guess yeah. I'm ready. All right. Well, the year is April 2003. Uh, Umbrella has just fallen. A huge power vacuum has opened up in the black market. Hundreds of personnel are being snatched by competitors. They're being imprisoned. They're go they've gone underground. They've disappeared for whatever reason. So, most of their executive members have disappeared. Have, they have gone into hiding or otherwise, leaving most of the support uh, staff high and dry. Their management teams have disappeared or have dispersed to all corners of the black market, trying to find work where their skills would be valued. Researchers and lab technicians are being snatched up by organizations who want their knowledge. Engineers are being contracted to replicate the technology umbrella utilized in their viral research. And the underworld is buzzing with activity. New, for new factions are forming. Old ones are competing to stay relevant. All this spurred on by one word. Power. Umbrella's dissolution saturated the market with it. Now everyone is clamoring over each other to grab handfuls of it. For some of you, the display might be outright comedic. For some of you, you understand where they're coming from. This constant struggle for power. And while greedy politicians and corporate syndicates run their race for power, there you are, sitting at the finish line, offering your services for the next race power. Others need it. You have it. 
It is April 2003, and like I said, you are in San Jose, California, the center of Silicon Valley. You were contacted for a job. The details were sparse, but the pay was high. Your experience tell you that this job is important, the kind of job that makes careers. You now find yourself in a conference room after hours. You're on the second floor of a five-floor office building constructed of glass, steel, and concrete. Very modern look. Before you entered, you were asked to empty your inventories and keep them with security on the first floor. If anybody has any objections to that, um, go ahead and do so. Wait, we're to leave what? You're, you are to empty your inventories and leave uh, all of your resources with the security on the first floor. <clears throat> So they don't even care whether it's weapons, items, anything. It's for safety purposes, sir. Ooh. But, like, I, I, I'll leave my stuff there. <laughs> I guess I, I have no objections. I'm, I'm, I'm here for business. All right. For work. So here you are in this, uh, in this conference room. Now, would everybody? Please describe your characters. Starting from left first. to well, uh, left to right on roll twenty. Okay. Well, um, I suppose by the time all of you arrive, I'm already there. Uh, you, the rest of you, see as you enter the room, uh, looks to be a man of sort of average height and stature, slim, athletic build. He's well dressed, wearing a black suit and tie over a red shirt with neatly combed black hair, blue eyes, and a chiseled, clean-shaven face. He's kind of got a leather briefcase already laid out with some paperwork and pens on the table. He kind of... So, I, well, I guess before we get to proper introductions, I am kind of curious what all I see coming in through the doors. Should we throw our minis out so. on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you guys want to... Um... Miniify oh, the board real quick. One. Oh, it works. <laughs> cool. All right. So, you come through the door, you'll see a six-four muscular male, long black hair, kind of like in a ponytail, ends at mid back. Come through the door. Uh, he's got. <clears throat> He's got electric blue eyes. He's wearing a, uh, I don't even know how to, it's, it's like a pretty, uh, it's like a dark, or kind of a light grayish, uh, kind of a light grayish uh, suit in a sense. Um, he's got combat boots on, gloves, or yeah, combat boots on, gloves. Um, He's all around. His expression is just generally blank. He doesn't seem to really care or mind anybody else that's around the room at the moment. And as he just kind of pops in and takes a seat. And, uh... Hi. Oh. Hey, bam. Oh, that's sweet looking. Yeah, actually, I... <laughs> Let's put your guys' characters right here in the middle so, so I can I see them. I haven't like, zoomed in, and I'm trying to find them. <laughs> Where's Waldo on a white map? Oh, yeah, clean-shaven face, too. Mm. So. Yeah, yep. Oh. Next. Uh, Silo. Silo, right? <laughs> yeah. Silo. Silo, did you fall asleep? Did we lose her? I'm awake. <laughs> <laughs> I, t I was trying to turn my sensitivity up, but I turned it up too much and you couldn't hear me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, I see my character walk in. Pale skin, uh, black long hair, and somewhat mid to high ponytail. Uh, all for. Well, yeah. Taller than the average woman, uh, five foot seven. 
Sapling build. This looks very sophisticated. Black suit, white blouse, uh, boots, stockings. Like, she looks sophisticated and. I'm not good at describing characters. <laughs> <laughs> Did she right. pop? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there she is. Why, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly interested. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want to assume that I was probably here. You were here already uh, as well. Relatively earlier than a lot of other ones. So, uh,. I'm assuming the first one that would have taught me would be uh, Raph's character, which what he what, what all of you see is a about 215 pound, six foot tall Native American with uh, long black hair tied back in a tight braid. He's wearing just black clothes, classic, classic just t-shirt and cargo pants with combat boots and you can see a bit of a tattoo on his left shoulder or his left upper arm oh let's see if i can find it there he is yep so you were uh as you were all going through security and in emptying your inventories uh this individual was the one who was who was leading all the other security uh guards lauren i cannot drag this out here how do i how do i do you should be able to I cannot. Unless I'm doing it wrong. Click and drag. I'm clicking and dragging one. It is not working. <laughs> Did you try to turn it on first? <laughs> Have you turned it on and back <laughs> off? <laughs> well, uh, are, are you on a laptop? Yes, but I'm using a mouse. Okay. I was going to say that might be it's a your but... mouse plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wireless mouse, and yes, it's plugged in. <laughs> You want me to drag him out for you? Yeah, please do. <laughs> Cause I can't do it. Noticing a little color palette here. <laughs> <laughs> there's a little, th there's a there's a theme going on. There's a theme going on. I'm I'm liking this theme. I think I think we'll keep this theme. Well, I, I feel a little different. <laughs> um, here comes the peacock. <laughs> <laughs> you you see. A figure stands 5'8", about 140 pounds. Um, that's pretty much what you see, so I'm just going to throw this out there. <laughs> and you, you get to, uh, I cannot click and drag, and I've tried powering it off and on and on. Wait, it. really? <laughs> yep. Well, hey, have you, do you, are you dragging the, by like the three bars or like by, by the name? There's no three bars. Or like if you like you hover the over the kit. Hold on. Get me under ship and fight. Oh, that's oh uh, yeah yeah. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I just have it in your journal. You can't. <laughs> no, you couldn't interact just with in it. The journal. Well, that's All right. Probably the same for Lisa. Yeah yeah yeah. I'll there we do go. her as well. Yeah. You see this character? Whoa. Yes, color wow. palette has changed. <laughs> I, oh, wow. I am not of the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> but that's. He's still on the moniker inside. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, stands 5'8, 140 pounds. Alright, Lisa, you should be able to drag your character in and out now, but. Yes, yeah. I can, okay. So, <clears throat> you have all gathered here in the. Um, What? What's it called? Conference room? <laughs> Conference room. Conference room. <laughs> yes, so, as you all walk in and you settle and you've gotten your seats, and you're waiting for all, I guess, this meeting to start. Um, Eli and Malik, you both recognize uh -huh. each other. Uh, you both recognize each other from your old days back at, back in Umbrella. You both worked in security, and you both had your own little, uh, both little units you had, you had control over. And, of course, once Umbrella dissolved, 
you never really worked with each other even while Umbrella was uh, still going. You were in, like, you're just in different units, different places, different operations. But you knew that you, you worked with each other, and surprised to see uh, to see each other here again. <coughs> Eli. Malik. And he just kind of gives you a gives you a half a half-hearted smile. <laughs> I see the uh, world is smaller than I thought. Indeed. Hmm. I'm just sort of in the corner fidgeting with a pen. <laughs> I'm just like, well, this is quite the Molly crew. You must be all the freelancers. Yeah. <clears throat> well. Mind if I get your names? Huh. Why don't we start around the table, then? <clears throat> He's, uh... Oh. Just, wait, what? <laughs> now there's two Eli. <laughs> Eli, Eli's twin brother, Eli. I don't think I can get rid of it. I think Eli's the twin. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> it's imposter. <clears throat> well, I suppose I can begin. My name is Clayton Mills. I'm an attorney. I work here at the Kelly Systems Corporation. And you are? Malik Allington. Ex-Umbrella Security. <clears throat> And how about you? Kind of going on to <laughs> Isla's character. Elvis Hale. Family member of the Hale heritage. Hmm. Aldous Hale. <clears> hmm. <throat> <clears throat> well, uh... My name is Eli Jackson. Uh, I worked with Umbrella, and now I work here. Mm. Enough said. Seems quite a few of us used to work with Umbrella. I think I recognize you, Eli. I might have seen you while I was there. Possible. <laughs> <laughs> How about this uh, Eskimo here? You <laughs> I, I really want to do this, but I don't know if I can. <laughs> Try it. Go for it. Try it. I, I don't know how you say, um, I'm Jacques Bisset. <laughs> also, just call me Frenchy. Frenchy. I can get behind that. Hmm. Well done. So, as you all have, are making your introductions, Gloria Hayes, the woman in charge, walks through the door and takes her seat at the head of the conference table. She stands by this. Uh, she stands by the array of floor-to-ceiling windows across from you, looking out onto the street. The soft glow of, of moonlight illuminates her dark chocolate skin. She stands tall at a confident five foot three inches, but her confidence sells it. That and her fierce high heels and sharp blue business dress. Even as it approaches midnight, she is embodying that full professional look. Her posture carries a sense of disdain and impatience, like all of this is beneath her. Officially, she is the general manager for Kelly Systems Corporation, a mostly legitimate tech company. But if a company's secrets ever got sold to a competitor, chances are it passed through her hands at some point. Now she looks at you and... Just... Alright, you're all here. Let's get this. Let's get this over with. Do you know why you're all here? What do you, What do you all know? I haven't. I haven't touched most of this. I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Eli okay. kind of just looks at her. I'm here because you told me to be here. <laughs> 
Okay, good. We're keeping our secrets. She she like starts fiddling with uh, like a bag at her side, pulling out some documents. He says, "Okay, I have some leads on some very important ex uh, umbrella personnel, some researchers. I need you guys to pick them up. There are a total of six. Well, I guess they're not all umbrella personnel, but there's a total of six targets I want you guys to approach." And she lays out this array of six like dossiers. Uh, a total of three of them are ex umbrella, and three you don't uh, know who they all are. Um, she points out each one of them. There is a Margaret Peterson, who is an ex umbrella engineer. There is a David Chandler, an ex umbrella uh, ex umbrella researcher, and Jack Epling. Um, I'll get these names to you if you need to copy them down who was a who was yes, please. <laughs> who was uh ex umbrella uh an executive of sorts the other three names are robert daniels george brant and felicia callahan and those uh three they don't they don't seem to have any umbrella ties or roots I guess I'll just post them one by one then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So those first three are the former Umbrella executives. Yeah, so those are the... Hey, I got those names right. <laughs> <laughs> so those three are the um, Umbrella... Uh, the ex-Umbrella employees. And these three are the ones that do not seem to have any relation to Umbrella. She, she uh, sets these out in front of you and says, Okay, so here's the deal. Margaret Peterson. She's been selling proprietary umbrella technology to competitors, and as a tech company, I want in on that. I need you to find her. I need you to tell her that my name should be on her seller's list. David Chandler, ex-umbrella researcher. He's selling viruses that umbrella developed to who knows what. I need you to find him. And we, and we need those samples. Jack Epling. Now this is a problem. Jack Epling, umbrella manager. He has, he has problematic. Let's see. She's uh, holds her hands up in air quotes. Problematic, problematic knowledge of umbrella's organizational organizational structure. That means he knows my name, and I can't have that. He needs to be taken out. Taken out. The problem is he's currently in jail and he's cut a deal with the FBI. At least that's what our sources say. You need to take him out before he gets to anybody of importance. These other three names, Robert Daniels, George Brandt, and Felicia Callahan, they, all, they, are, they are all executives for a rival tech company. And let's just say they pissed me off. So I, heard, I heard that soon they're gonna be heading to the Middle East for a, uh, for a dinner with some Middle Eastern investors. I need you to make sure they never come back to the States. Now, this would be all good if I have their names, I know what they do. This would be all good and all if I could just take them up myself, but the problem is I don't know where any of these people are. I know where the ex-Umbrella members are because, or I know who the ex-Umbrella members are because obviously we all used to work together. And the other three are just professional associates. I need you to do what you can to make sure that all of this uh, goes down as planned. And of course, none of it can trace back to me or Kelly Systems Corporation. Any questions? Seems simple enough. <laughs> We're just like all quietly like looking around at each other, I'm assuming. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, it is. <laughs> that seems simple enough. So you need two people. You want the uh, you want one dead, and you want to make sure the other ones don't come back to the states. Yeah, that sounds about right. <sighs> it's like a regular regular occurrence in my field. All right. I can get it done.
And if any of you happen to get caught in the process, remember, none of this comes back to us. Whatever you do, don't say anything to the authorities as well. Now they... Well, at least here in the States, assuming you're not going to be doing any international travel for this, uh... They, uh... Well, you have rights. You ask for your lawyer, and I'll be there to get you out. But whatever you do, don't talk to authorities. Spare us the trouble. Understood. So what's the pay? <laughs> so... <laughs> <Voice>. <laughs> I'm trying. It's I know. Working not working. I don't know yet. We'll have to see. I'll, I'll drop it if it's not working. We'll see. I, I just threw it together five minutes before. So she's offering enough money to knock all of you up uh, one uh, uh, one economic status. Oh. Nice. And of course, for uh, for Eli and. Clayton, this is in the form of like a uh, salary boost. Mm. Nice. <laughs> for, for everybody else, it's cash. Mm. Beautiful. Okay, if you don't have any more questions, I need you to get out. You got work to do. No. If I'm understanding this correctly, am I just on board here as a sort of legal advisor? Well, seeing as one of them is in prison, I think they're going to need you to get in at least. Hmm. Well, looking around this room, I see a bunch of professional tough guys that seem to be able to take care of themselves. I don't know if they would need me for too much more. Well, that's up for you to decide, but... I need you to go with them. I need you to make sure that everything goes smoothly. <laughs> you and Eli, I need you to, I need you to babysit. Yeah. Well, now I could add babysitter <laughs> to my resume. <laughs> babysitter. Hey. Not tough guy. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm a fixer. I'm a litigator, and now I'm a babysitter. All right. I'll see what I can do. You say these last three are in investor meetings, correct? That's what we know of. I'm sure I could gain access to those. I hope you can. I can take care of them. Very well. Okay, good. I'm glad that this can be taken care of, and I'm glad that this is in capable hands. Now again, I got work to do. You guys got work to do. Let's go. Eli's already halfway out the door. <laughs> Packing up my cases and stuff and following him out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go gather like all my crap back. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so you guys head back downstairs to the first floor. Eli, you uh, sit to everybody getting uh, everyone else's inventories back in order. Um, mm -hmm. I guess, yeah, you and Clayton both had, uh, you didn't have to empty your inventories because you were already at the facility or at the office yeah. building. I was actually out of work here. <laughs> yeah, well, this is actually, this office building is a, it's, it's not abandoned, but she has purchased this op office building specifically for these types of meetings where mm. there's no actual uh, work being done, but it is operational. Yeah. Secrets. Mm -hmm. there, like there's, uh, like the, it's, it looks like it's, it's, you know, in order, there's like occasionally there's cars parked in the parking lot. Nobody actually enters the building, and there's no like uh, external markings of who owns the building or what the you know what the <clears throat> building is. It's just some nondescript office building in the middle of a bustling San Jose, California. All right. Well, sounds like we have our work cut out for us. So, you guys have your, you guys know the names of your targets. How would you guys like to go about approaching this? Hmm. Question. 
Mm-hmm. Can I... Can I... Do I know anything about these names other than the fact that just say worked for Umbrella? Go ahead and make a history check. Sweet. Yeah, I was going to say if I knew anything about them, too. Yeah, sure. Everybody uh, who is proficient in history, you can go ahead and make a history check. Huh. Okay, never mind. Oh, are you not proficient, not proficient in history? Yeah. Okay, well, if I you... Uh, yeah, you can still uh, you can still make one you offer, too. As, uh, cool. so you... That's better. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, no. That's a... That's not good. That's a really big number and a really low die. <laughs> <laughs> You straight up like a history right. teacher? Well, <laughs> okay, okay, so, so, yeah, it, you have to be proficient. No, in I, it yeah, you, you can go ahead and make uh, make a history check. Everybody can, you, you can all rack your brains so, and figure out if, you, if you've, like, met these people before. We got Without a 2, a 15, a nat 20, and watch this, watch this beauty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. See, I was thinking I had to beat, but I got a little bit higher than that. <laughs> a little bit higher is relative so i guess ilo and uh or vladis and clayton um you would know that are, are you this is just for like the whole slew of uh targets or just the ones I mean, I that were mainly umbrella thinking about the umbrella guys the umbrella ones yeah yeah so the umbrella um targets you know that um, like most people, they, uh, disappeared once the, uh, once Umbrella's, uh, what, like, once the raccoon trials, like, officially ended, they disappeared, they tried to go into hiding, but you know that they were still, they were still active, and that's how, uh, Gloria Hayes was able to find them, but she doesn't know exactly where they are. You would know that they have a tendency, like, they have enough money that they can, um, hide themselves fairly well and you have you, you generally have ideas of where you would start based on like um their previous living conditions and where uh like you know their where their home used to be before umbrella went under okay and the third one was in jail right or was that yeah, yeah. so jack epling is currently in yeah. prison and he uh, uh last uh, anyone heard he had made he had cut a deal with the FBI giving up key key names for uh, a softer uh, sentence but Vladis you know Margaret Peterson <laughs> Valdis whoops my bad Valdis <laughs> Valdis you know Margaret Peterson uh, and you you don't know where she lives but you pr you're pretty sure you've done uh You've like done some work with her, and you could find her again. Okay. All right, so I have some idea about where to start with some of these X umbrella types. I guess, uh, I guess you would know where Jack Epling is, since he is in jail. You yeah, know which jail he yeah. is in, yeah. Um, is it, is, and it's local? It's here in San Jose? That one, uh, let's see, he is... It is not local. It is back in the hmm. uh, Midwest, wherever the Umbrella area would be. He got picked up pretty close there. Okay. Well, sounds like we got our work cut out for us. Mm -hmm. Are there yeah, any preparations any of you need to need to do? I I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do need to to make the preparations. All right, very well. Preparations already being taken care of with Margaret. Is that right? And she's like starting to walk out she's got like a fern in her hands <laughs> can i just like disappear and go to <laughs> 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 just like <laughs> cloak as soon as like we walk out into the daylight i turn gone like what yeah it, it, uh, it's in the middle of the, uh, the night right now 
Oh, okay. It's night. I just turned on. <laughs> <laughs> you all just like head to the shadows. <laughs> so I want to want to go crawl. and get in contact with field agents with my field agents. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want them just... to do? Yeah, uh, Malik is going to go through and have them kind of keep watch, keep watch, get schedules and get schedules uh and i guess just like head counts um around let's say police station and see how like their see how their like patrol schedules are mm -hmm. it, oh keep any distance like what police station uh whichever one jack epling's being held at. oh well he's being held in like a federal prison Oh, and, cool. Yeah, so it's. <laughs> yeah, that's not just. Not, we're not. I'm not talking about like jailed. He is in prison. <laughs> hmm. He is in a. Uh, I guess that would be like a medium. Out Midwest too. It's like that. That's like a medium. Uh, what do you call medium security? He's not like it's. It's still. Okay, mostly still like security. white collar, but he also literally had some like you know he killed people. Um, he had something to do with that, so they put him in like they just they just threw him in lockup There's with the like, rest. Uh, you need to go here. <laughs> yeah, it's like well, I mean, technically you didn't actually put your hands on anybody, but you're an asshole, and we're gonna throw you in lockup. Okay, asshole. Uh, so he's f he's full on in prison. Okay, never mind then. Um, you c I mean, you could still do that. And you can still have them. Uh, it's it's going to be harder, obviously, but it's a, it's a good start to figure out, you know, guard schedules and if there's any like you know uh, weaknesses in the barrier or, or like the perimeter of the building. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have them do that. Mm -hmm. It's a good start to get them going. All right, I just need you. Uh, yeah, you can just go ahead and do that. Actually, you can just call them up, let them know what to do, let them know what their new job is. Yeah. Also, before uh, everyone disperses, I'm gonna uh, make sure I've like handed out business cards to everybody, just because. Awesome. Being oh yeah. The, being the attorney, I want to make sure everyone can keep in touch with me. And plus, since everyone seems to be scattering to the wind, it's just like we could at least organize a way to reconvene. Yeah. Oh. Hand out, like. Yeah, I've, I've I've definitely got business cards. I'm just like. Yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> well, I totally forgot to do that, but it's alright. I'll so just you got stares at it and then tucks it in a pocket. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All right. Pocket. <laughs> so you guys, so you guys are going to you're, you're going to divide and conquer. It seems that way. So I know some people have some shopping to do. Like... Oh. Yeah, yeah. It seems like yeah, it seems like everybody's just kind of going their own way. So yeah. you guys want to. Uh, um... So are you going to split up, try to find out information that you can individually, and then like try to meet up again later? Yeah. That's I the mean, plan. the only way we can meet up is through one person, since everybody else is like, fuck off. So <laughs> <laughs> everyone has to go through. Yeah, like... yeah. Everybody has to go through Clayton because everyone else is antisocial. <laughs> so it's just, uh, hey. I mean, you go. guys, you guys can exchange phone numbers. I imagine. <laughs> Like, I mean, phones are that. phones are a thing. <laughs> I was already on the way out. <laughs> Doc, you're you're muted. <laughs> Eli's like, what? This is true. I'm eating Doritos, and they are loud. <laughs> um, but no, like I said, I I I need to go shopping. But as soon as I walk outside, I just disappear. It's not like I ran away. I like, <laughs> struggle to see me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wait, wait. sorry. Oh, can I hand you a business card? Oh. Wait, uh, I'll, I'll reach out and grab it like this. A hand from darkness <laughs> comes out. Yep. This monochrome hand of darkness. Yep. <laughs> just right from around the corner. Just. That's hilarious. So like, unless you're actively looking for me, I want to be like invisible. <laughs> Just like, there I am, constantly hidden. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll, yeah. I'll take the forever yeah, so like... hide uh, as a bonus action. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then everybody hides as a bonus action. <laughs> <laughs> well, so let's get into a personal drama. <laughs> so, um, 
Uh, you, I know some of you wanted some shopping to get done. We can go ahead and yeah. do that really quick. So what did you? So what did you guys need us to, to uh, like for this setup before you wanted to go, or get started? Because you guys, so uh, Clayton and or Clayton, you know where to start with. Mm -hmm. Margaret and David, Ilu knows a little bit better where to start with Margaret. Okay. Do I know any of these people enough that I could start somewhere? <laughs> uh, not with that role. <laughs> and then I'm just sending field agents out to a federal area to keep watch and get a perimeter yep. checks and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I work better than. Oh no. Other than that, other than that, I, I just want to go shopping to see if I can find some like uh, heels. All right, you're up for a fight. I mean, in the event something happens, right, you can never be too to careful. Heels. You can never be too careful. Mm -hmm. I would like to go to a hardware store. Okay. Well, okay, so since you guys are... Uh, you wouldn't necessarily go to a hardware store, but you would go to your guy who's got, like, the hardware stuff. Hardware. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, hey, it's a friendly neighborhood place. <laughs> <laughs> you could, I mean, like, as you could, but you would also have, like, a supplier and you'd have your own um, people that you would talk to to be able to get everything you needed to. Okay, I'll do that then. <laughs> I'm just gonna go, like, with a shopping cart. <laughs> <laughs> just full, full, shopping. full armor. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm dumping stuff in my cart. Go. But but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go to whatever shady side corner place <laughs> that I gotta go to get materials. Yeah. Yeah, because oh, Alice is just connecting with her resources, yeah. finding out everything she can on market. Um. Yep. I guess What's like I, oh yeah, I guess outside of that, could I use my like uh, criminal background feature to look into? Uh, to potentially look into those executives that aren't, um, they're not like X Umbrella. Yeah, the ones you guys don't know anything about currently. Yeah. Uh, using shady corners. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Make an investigation check. Oh, by the way, guys, turn on 3D dice. <laughs> oh, wait, do I, don't. hold on. I don't have 3D dice on. Lord. Yeah, it has nothing to do with us. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Well, your guys is okay, so. I forgot to check this box. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see it. It's your fault. <laughs> Lord and the true villain. <laughs> All right, so you rolled a 19 investigation trying to find information on these three through your your network. Mm -hmm. um, other than the fact that they are um, very high level like investors and executives for various companies, you can tell that um, like you you know uh, who they work for and it's uh, nobody interesting. They have like, not who they work for, but who like they're invested in. They have their fingers in all of the pies. They've got their fingers a little bit of everywhere. Um, mostly uh, technology and a lot of black market, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. But with that kind of, uh, they're not gonna be like individually, they're pretty well secured. They're not gonna be just out in the open and they're pretty well um, guarded and you and you know that if you wanted to hit all of them getting the dinner or like the, getting them when they go to the like uh, to their you know investors meeting or whatever is when they'll be the most vulnerable because in the states they are pretty tightly uh, pretty tightly guarded uh, international travel here we come 
So, <laughs> when's, so. what's the timeline on the uh, on the dinner? That's not yeah, for like, yeah. The, the dinner isn't happening for a good little while, so it's not going to be anytime soon. But you uh, like you can find uh, you can find out any any information about them, and you can like you can find you know you find information about them professionally, but not any personal information. Okay. Could I could I use my shady corners to like find out? Um, like exactly where everybody's at besides the dude that's in prison unless they can give me like an exact cell number <laughs> Can I just like question everybody that I know shitty corner wise be like where's these people at for well, the yeah, I was thinking of doing the same thing and using my shady corner. <laughs> <laughs> we all got a shady corner. We all got shady uh, corner. <laughs> to, uh, like, start hitting up the, the books and going through old contacts and using my umbrella contacts to figure out specifically how I could go about getting in touch with our umbrella targets, you know, Margaret, David, and Jack. Mm-hmm. Can I use Shady Corners to contact John Wick? And <laughs> <laughs> Bye -bye, you know, the, the, the economic points that we're using are actually those coins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just a bunch of uh, solid gold discs. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is, is I am the John Wick. <laughs> the name French is, Wick. My name is Yacuse Bisset. Yacuse Bisset, yeah. He's the, the French Baba Yaga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there anything I am French Baba Yaga. Anything I could do about that? All right, so um, Malik, you were looking at um, uh, who were you looking f uh, to investigate? Mm. Oh, but first of all, well, before we do all this, because Ilo had some investigation to do too. Uh, let's do the shopping first before you guys uh, all right. talk about how you're going to go about finding them, because I guess because. It sounds like a lot of you could benefit from telling each other what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> so I'm just going for heels. Just okay. Heels, yeah, so for heels, um, are you talking like, well, oh, no. Raph, are there any other healing items other than the herbs and the first aid sprays? Um, I mean, those are the main ones. There's stuff you could get with your med kit, obviously. Yeah, but... yeah, because like the, I, I know everything that comes with med kit, and I realize that that's not stuff you can buy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you generally can't buy that stuff. Otherwise, you, you're normally just buying like little herb packets and stuff. That you might yeah, yeah, yeah. In. Yeah, so you can get um, you can get a two herb uh mix for one point or a first aid spray for two points. I wonder if we're buying them off the market. If they wouldn't be herbs, they would just be like pills. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's uh, well, it's like yeah, they come in those sort of forms. You've seen some of the Resident Evil games that show kind of what the what they're marketed as, I suppose. Like in Resident Evil One, like you have those little uh, like packets that you might find in like first aid mm. kits and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I always pictured like the folded piece of paper with a ground up powder in it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, uh, if you want it that way, <laughs> that's like <laughs> that's a different dealer you have to go to though for that one. <laughs> Shady corners. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah so well, get a first aid first aid spray yeah so well, yeah. uh hold on really quick let me just get because the first aid spray isn't an item right it is it is because i didn't see it where is that under uh, uh that's like that's like on page 145 no for the raf you, you had the is it like a uh, common rare uncommon? uh oh technically a bit higher in rarity I it's, think it's uh, the first aid spray it's a very rare yeah. Oh, that's why I don't have it. Oh yeah, you might. Yeah, you might not have that. Yeah. No. I don't think I sent. No, that. I don't have. I don't, yeah. Well, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't have a screen cap of it. But yeah. yeah. So I just. So yeah. I mean, it's just write down it's what the, how much it's it in does. The rule book. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's in yeah. the rule book. Everybody has access to all the recovery items. Yeah. In the, so in the core rule book. Yeah. Let me just tell you how much it does real quick. I guess you can look it up. Um. I just want to make sure. How much does a green red do? Plus. Uh, green red is 8d4 plus 8. And a first aid is... Where is a first aid? It's just herbs. It is 10d4 plus 20. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So you can get the first aid for uh, two and the and, uh, and two, a, a two herb mix for one. Yeah, let's get the first aid. Yep. So that is 10d4 uh... plus 20. 
cool. And that just comes out of your bank. Okay. Yeah, because while you're doing shopping, you guys can like you'd have access to all of your mm. uh, your bank account information. The cash is only if you're like you know doing deals on the streets. <clears throat> okay, cool. All right. Yeah, I mean that's that's all I was going for. Okay. Anybody else have any uh, shopping you want to get done before you guys start? What's up? What's up, Doc? <laughs> I, 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 I still want to go to my shady yeah. corner, like sidelines and find. Oh yes, yeah, good. So what are you? Uh, what are you trying to get? Um, some like scrap materials and stuff, things like that. And also, I was questioning if I use my shady corners, can I find already pre-crafted items? It's something no. I've been meaning to ask in Resident <laughs> Roleplay too. Like, could I buy an adrenaline shot, you know, or something like that? Um. You know what I'll say? Or maybe maybe some roids. If I can do a solid investigation, can I find somebody willing to sell me roids and and That's what I was gonna say. You can you can try to find somebody who is selling it to you, but you can't just up and buy it. So it's gonna be okay. a little bit there's gonna there's a there's a little bit more that you'd have to do to get to get there. You'd have what, to find somebody it, who's willing to buy it and or willing to sell it, and then you have to find somebody who can um Is it that an investigation check? I would need you to make an Do investigation, please. <laughs> yeah, investigation check. Sweet. Oh, it's still poop though. <laughs> <laughs> a, you're able to team. Uh you're able to find somebody who can get you not a steroid. <laughs> oh, but steroids. uh you're able to find somebody who's willing to sell you an adrenaline shot. Just the one? Just the one. And... And they want to meet you first. Okay. I'm willing, I'm willing to meet up with somebody. Alright. But like, are they, they, they like, pick the location, or...? Yeah. They pick okay, the location, so... they pick the time. And you're gonna have to wait a little bit before you can meet with them. I will, well, when that time comes, I'm showing up five minutes early and in stealth. <laughs> so you're not showing up at all from their point of view. <laughs> from their point of view, I'm making sure that nobody else has a point of view on us. <laughs> and then I'll come out of the, the, the shady corners. <laughs> you are the shady corners. I am the shady corner. <laughs> okay, so you... You've got a potential uh, dealer for an adrenaline, or er, yeah, an adrenaline shot. And Any other stuff you like? I would like. I would like to go and find some uh, scrap materials and like batteries and stuff like that. Yeah, you can get a stack for a point. Can I get a half a stack of each? For yeah, one point. Okay. And then I also need, um... A, I think it was paracord? You need some paracord? And, and, and some bottles and... Yeah, so the, the going rate is... Like yeah, so the going rate is a stack for one point, or I guess a half a stack of two for one point. Okay, so... I'll get a half a stack of scraps, half a stack of batteries, and... Oh, does Paracord stack? Paracord, I think, is just one. Oh, yeah, yeah Paracord so is just the one, it. so you just get a roll of it. Um, okay. Uh, I'll pass yeah. on the Paracord. Yeah. So that's meant one, and then... Uh, the What about the bottles? And stuff. I'm pretty bottles? sure they'll stack. stack. Is that ten? Uh, I think they stack up to five. Okay. So then you would get... Two. Round down. Um, can I still get the full stack for one coin? Yeah. Okay. Alright. And then I need to find some shady person for a little bit of ammo. Mm-hmm. Um, 
for ammo. It is uh, half a stack for one. Or should I just make that a stack for one as well? <coughs> well, I'll take a, a I'll take a full full stack <laughs> for one. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> All right, half a stack it is. That. Okay, so full stack. <laughs> half a stack it is. Damn it. <laughs> um. That's two, three, three coins. Okay. Hit up I like how it, it is now, just those John Wick little <laughs> gold coins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just dishing out these coins, it's just like, hey. Okay. And, um, do, I, do you want me to specify what I bought? Exactly? Yeah. Ammo was? Yeah. Uh, I brought 100 SMG. Mm hmm. And, uh, for two? 20, yeah, yeah, for two. And then 25 9mm handgun. Okay. And that is half, so that's only one. And. Unless I see some decent guns on the market <clears throat> on my shady corner contacts that hit me up later, I'm good. You've got. Uh. common or an uncommon weapons <laughs> so it's the stuff okay. that you have that are not okay the plus so ones. like there's not like like super weapons found throughout this currently none that you can afford i mean i got coins <laughs> <laughs> what are you good. looking for i'll i no i'm good I'll, I'll wait for my my shady contact to meet up yeah okay and to pull uh, an extra two coin out of the bank though. Lisa, you were also working on something? Oh yeah. Um can I go to like a I don't know if it would be a shady person or if it would just be a store. Um I'm looking for gloves. <laughs> <laughs> what kind like of gloves? Shooting gloves. Like gun gloves, like um You're talking about tactical fingerless gloves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those. Those are one of a uh, fair price. Uh, getting, getting some of those gloves. Oof. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I don't have the charisma to deal with this right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. you. So if you want the gloves, oh. um, that will be. That's probably gonna run you like, three points for those gloves. To get the to get these awesome, uh, badass gloves that make you better at shooting. Oh yeah, no, I'm good with that. <laughs> so that's uh. Yeah, I just bought ammo for my crappy shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs to shoot better when you can shoot more? <laughs> yep. Right. <laughs> All right. So I deducted three points. I want the gloves. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, uh, does that. What does that do to your. Uh, what does that do? You actually. Uh, uh, you can't. Fingerless is plus two mobility. Yeah, but you can't benefit from that. Yeah, it's plus two mobility oh, up to 12. Oh, yeah, I can't. You're right. I can't. Uh, I spent $3 on gloves. Yeah, you're you're looking at these gloves and you're just like you know practicing t t taking them on, putting them off. And you're like, no, nah, it slows me down. <laughs> <laughs> right? Never mind. Never mind. I, I I didn't know they increased mobility. I'm sorry. No refunds. Um, no. <laughs> I'll leave it, Lord. I'll leave it. Um, then yeah, I don't. Hmm, I don't really need anything then. I guess mm -hmm. I'm good. Okay. Lydas, are you buying anything? Wanna throw some money around? Uh, can I get some sort of inventory increasing item? Yeah. yeah. You, can get a, you can get a plus two inventory increasing item. Can I get that? 
All right, so that's gonna be two points for that. All righty. Oh my god. Sorry, Mister. Hmm? It's th all right. Let me just get you out real quick. What do you have right now? I have this attach case. Okay, so can't give you that. You have. You have utility belts. I just realized actually this utility belt wasn't on the write up. It's okay. You have utility belt, you have holster harnesses, and the other ones are the insulated bag and bandoliers. Uh, and there's also a backpack. Belt. There's also a tactical yeah, backpack. Belt. Alright. Not gonna purchase anything before he or as he's sending out all of his his goon squad. Huh? This is not gonna purchase anything as he's sending out his goon squad. Uh I mean I thought I already purchased something. Which one did you get? The no. first aid spray. Yeah, the first aid. Right, yeah, you were first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, all right, that is all that you're uh, you're going to be purchasing. You guys are going to uh, want to get together and talk about how you're going to go about trying to find these individuals. I sent the lawyer squad out to go check out. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So are we reconvening at this point? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and like I said, while everyone was kind of out in the shop and, you know, I'm you know, all using my shady corners and all my pro yeah, so prior this... corporate contacts yeah. to, to locate uh, Margaret and David. Yeah, so... Um... <clears throat> I was using, like, I was, uh, 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 investigation checks you guys already did. Because, like, you've already done an investigation check to try to find them, and then uh, this is your... I haven't done that. Yeah, he's, he said no, all, of, all the... Me. I asked Raph, you rolled a... I never got to roll it. Well, you're, you, Raph, you got, you, that was your 21 to see if you knew anything. Oh, that, no, was, that was the history check. check. That, that was the history check. Them, yeah. yeah, so this is the investigation check. Yes, yeah, so you guys, you, you can... You can <laughs> Uh, do that using your shady corners to try to get through uh, to see if you can find anything about them. Okay, so I could use investigation. Yeah, so, yeah. shady corners. You can you can use investigation. All right. I'm going to uh, really quick use self reliant to add a D8 to that. Okay, you are self reliant. One of my support dice. That's a twenty five. Stamps on. 25 and a 16. Um, yep. Mel, did you roll that 19 up there? The 19 was investigation. So this was also the investigation for the... Uh, for the... Uh, what do you call it? The umbrella guys? No, no, no. That wasn't for the umbrella guys. That was for the uh, other three. The right. Other, the other executives. Right, yeah. Yeah, the only thing you found out about them was that they're hard to get to. Yeah, they're hard to get to. The best time to get it would be during their meetings, but yeah. there's not a meeting when their guards down. for a while. Yeah, get them yeah. when their guards down. So with, uh, what was uh, yours, Raph, 18 plus 7? Uh, yeah, 25? 25. 25 yeah. for investigation. Um... Actually, really quick, because Valdis, you, uh, Valdis, you were also doing an investigation check or something, right? With, with these same people? Uh, in a sense, yeah. So what were you doing? Uh, she's, like, getting with her contacts and her resources, trying to find out everything she can about Margaret. Yep, that would be... Yeah, that would probably be uh, another... Investigation check. Oh, man. I need to get. Hold on. Because that was a nat two. Because you nat twenty the history, right? Yeah. yeah so she. Yeah. So so you you know yeah. them. So you've already got that 
uh, going for you. Nice. Mm. Yeah, okay, so with the combined efforts of Clayton doing um, his own research, going into the uh, how are you going about getting uh, information on these umbrella scientists? Just going through what they used to. Um, yeah, I'm just using my old umbrella contacts. Um, old umbrella like contacts, that. going through everything yeah, that just they used to know. Up and being like, "Hey, I need some favors." Yeah. I need to find someone. Yep. So a combination of you getting through, uh, trying to find any old acquaintances and anybody who might know where she or I guess both of them uh, would yeah, be. Yeah, I'm looking for into Margaret Peterson and David Chandler. Yeah. You're able to find, um, I'll say that you're able to find a pretty good location of where David Chandler is, and Valdis is able to find a pretty good location for <clears throat> where Hold on. Margaret Peterson is. And um, you know you have, you have narrowed it down to the city for where they live. This city? Or? Uh, a city. Okay. So you know which city they uh, they live in now. And Valdis, if you wanted to, um, since you do like you are pretty closely acquainted with her, you could also you can try to like go and like contact her. But um, for David Chandler, you've narrowed it down to the city that he lives in, and you're pretty certain that uh, you, you're fairly certain that's where he is. Okay. Do I know what, what city in particular, or? Look up a random city. <laughs> the, uh, the city doesn't matter too much. It's somewhere okay. in the Middle West, or uh, the Midwest. Okay, so kind of the same sort of region that Jack Kepling is in. A little bit. <laughs> Although, um, Margaret Peterson is not. She is all the way over here in the, in the uh, West Coast. Okay. Well, it sounds like that might be our first target. Yeah, as a researcher, she wanted, I guess she's, or as a engineer, she has stayed close to uh, business. Smart decision. <laughs> so you guys want to... <clears throat> After. Yeah, yeah. What about my contact? Did he ever show up? Um, so he, it's uh, it's still a little while out for him to be able to meet with you. All right, cancel cancel the order. <laughs> cancel the order? I got, yeah, it's I like got time to wait around. Yeah, he's like, you, yeah, he's well, he's like, yeah, you know, <laughs> give me a few weeks, I can get it for you. Oh. So I thought you meant like that night kind of stuff. <laughs> when you said it, meet him and stuff. But yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm not worried about it then. Yeah, okay. He's really sad because he was like, "Man, I, I got a dude. Oh, he, he can get me it." Mm -hmm. you, you'd have picked up the pace, brother. <laughs> hey, man, this stuff doesn't grow on trees. Yeah, but I mean, like, I got a life to live. I got people <laughs> to kill and shit. And I needed it. Alright, so I've kind of. Stuff is a controlled substance. <laughs> gotten in touch with everybody and made sure everyone's all up to date with what I've just uh, yeah. what I've discovered. Yeah. So you know that you, you let everyone know that you've tracked down David Chandler to somewhere in the Midwest, mm -hmm. small town, nothing too like fancy. Okay. So. <clears throat> that's what I found out sounds like uh, Margaret Peterson is closest to where we are now does anybody have any headway on her any way to set up a meeting sounds to me like this one might be a bit of a negotiation if we're trying to get in on the un umbrella tech she's peddling I have it handled alright about those uh other executives. Mm. <clears throat> Doing some crafts, yeah. Turns out they're 
well guarded. The only way we can really hit them is when their guard's down during meetings, dinners. Mm. I can't find anything else out personally, but professionally, I found out as much as I could. I, I do know that they are high level investors for quite a few companies out there. Their uh, hands are in almost anything. So maybe that's where that event they're going to in the Middle East comes in. Might be able to get them there. Also, <clears throat> I have a team I sent out to investigate and at least get back to me on the federal prison's head count in terms of their I guess staff, anybody coming in and out, patrols, the structures, see if there are any weaknesses in the event things go south. Well, it's good to have some reconnaissance. Yes. So that's what I'm doing. And that's what uh, hopefully I figure, well, hopefully I get some information soon. That'll take a bit, but... Hmm. Personally, if we can go out to Margaret or figure out something there, I don't mind if we maybe split up and go between different people. Some of us handle Margaret, others go to David, maybe. Well, it sounds to me like uh, David and Jack are in the same sort of region. So, I don't know. Perhaps we might best stick together for now and then I'll move as a group but then again I don't know if everyone will be needed for Margaret Peterson exactly I mean Valdis seems to have a good, pretty good peg on her and I may be able to accompany just to provide any legal counsel that may be needed I doubt it will be required yeah well you never know but then again, you never know. There could be something that comes around. Maybe you need security with you. I'd rather stick around. Very well, then. So, Valdis, you say you could get a hold of Margaret Peterson? You think you could arrange a meet? <clears throat> yes. All right, so you want to arrange a meeting? Um, mm -hmm. um, Doc, you were doing some crafts? Yeah, I just didn't want to interrupt the RP. Yeah. Um, do I have to roll each one, right? Yes, so the, the craft will have a uh, ability score, and then you add like that's what um, you need to roll for the craft. That plus your proficiency. Okay. And you have to roll over the DC. Uh, my my ability, my proficiency, and the eight, right? And then the what? Oh no, no, that's save. Well, I want the attack mod. No, just the ability score and your proficiency. Oh, okay. So that's mine. Yeah. Fifteen's the DC. All right. Pretty sure. What are you um? What are you crafting? Um. The the shock and pulse. Okay. I'm doing five shock, five pulse. Mm hmm. So, wait. Do those real quick. Because they stack up to five. So, so you, five. You're, like, you're just going to get them all done right now? Just going to go through them? Yeah. Yep. Just hammer them out. Oh, snap. <laughs> those are high. Those are all high. A lot of successes. 
<laughs> those are all high. Those are all the, the poles. Okay. What is th what are these rolls? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I lost, I lost count. I think I have one more. Hold on. One, two, three, four, fives. I literally had to roll a four to fail though. Like, <laughs> yeah, but you didn't even roll like you your lowest number was a nine in all of these. Yeah. Like you one, guys couldn't two, roll above a ten three, before, four, and now you can't five, roll above. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's ten. Yeah, that's 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 because it's so not needed. <laughs> the game was like, I'll give them to you, but you're gonna hate me later. <laughs> all right, so you've crafted some grenades. They all, yep, yeah, they all pass. Yeah. Cool. All right, and you guys are heading out to Margaret Peterson now. Mm hmm. All right. So you have narrowed down her location to Oakland, California, and you head down there. <clears throat> all right. Who are you all going? Or did you? He said you wanted to split up. Uh, I mean, Malik said he was coming. I'm definitely going. Yep. Baldus is definitely going. Mm -hmm. I'm here. All right. Eli's going, I assume. Probably. <laughs> that attorney needs needs backup. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys are you guys head out to Oakland, not too far away. You guys can make it uh, there, no problem. Just a brief road trip. Just a brief road trip. Just a brief road trip. So Valdis, you do we get? Uh, is there? Well, no, it's, you can't rest while traveling. <laughs> Nope. Why? Do you know you need to take a rest? Well, it, it's assumed that you like we're out of. Yeah, it's true. That's true. Yeah, I mean, it's you guys take some time. So there's plenty of time to just make a 10 minute pit stop or something. Yeah. So. When, once you guys get down there, you just take you just uh, you all take a quick rest. You recover that. Mm. All right. So, Valdis, you wanted to organize a meeting. Oh. What's up? Did you? Yeah, okay. Let's see. Uh, you know, initially I was gonna make finding her like a skill challenge, but you natural 20 <laughs> <laughs> So I'll still make it a skill challenge. But it's far okay. easier. <laughs> I don't know if I have the skills for. So yeah, so this so the way skill challenges work is using um, skills that you are proficient in. I, I know how they work. Yeah. Well, I'm just uh, explaining for for everybody. Okay. Using skills you're proficient in. Uh, make a series of skill challenges. Let me know how you want to use it, and. That's pretty, pretty much it, I guess. You have to hit a certain number of successes to complete this objective. Are we all together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've all arrived in Oakland, California. <clears throat> so is everybody involved in the skill challenge, or just all this? All this? this is just going to be her, because she's okay. got... Um, the personal connection. You guys can assist her using uh, using um, skills you're proficient in. Oh, okay. I'll assist any way you need it. I assume they base around intelligence. Cause, like investigate history that kind of I stuff investigate. So, yeah i can as well so uh, either of us could I, yeah, that, yeah i can investigate as well you all so, are pretty yeah. you all you all can investigate <laughs> almost everybody can investigate 
Like it's either way, you'll have advantage. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah. Okay. So she's gonna start off with using a history on uh yeah, like her sp no. Mm -hmm. Is this locating or causing or like starting a meeting, like contacting? To a yeah, to this is to contact her to get a meeting. You've located, you've like gotten it down to this, and since she is currently uh, in the wind, you can't get any further details of like where her where, where she lives yet. Okay. Although you can probably again, you know where she, you know that you've you've gone down to the city, you can probably try to, like, look for her as well. That is an option. You can try to, um, organize a meeting through your contacts, so you can, like, literally just go out and look for her. Um, what about history of where she used to live? Does she still live in the same place she would No, she has moved. She, she has since moved out of wherever she was with Umbrella. Okay. Um... I need assistance to investigate them. <laughs> um, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one of well, so one of you um, roll an investigation check. Uh, I guess you can decide which one highest. of you wants to do it. Who does have the highest? Mine's pretty high. Mine's what? a plus what ten. Uh, mine's oh. one higher than that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. Go ahead. <clears throat> Never got the highest one. Oh. And there it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so like, so like, can we can we redact that? Can we redact that? And then, yeah. Did you say with advantage? Uh, with advantage? No. That's just, yeah. This is to give her advantage. Oh, to give her advantage. My you do not get advantage. <laughs> 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 Wow. Oof. You're finding somebody in the wind. You're trying to find somebody who has, who is trying to be gone and disappear. All right. So what was the result of that roll? That one? No. Uh -huh. Oh no. Yeah. He uh, he does not give her advantage okay. for, with that. So can somebody else help though? No. <laughs> not on this one. This is the combined oh. efforts of everybody trying to find all the information they can. Oh, dude, we're going off of here. Let's get dang. <laughs> mm -hmm. He led the investigation nice. party, and that was what he was able to uh, to get. And it was uh, it was not any helpful information to Valdis. <clears throat> she either no, already no, knew no, all no, that. No, no. Yeah. Now she used her persuade. To like, Wait, you haven't made your you haven't, yeah, you didn't, you didn't roll yet. Oh. He was no, rolling to give you ad advantage. Which, yeah. Is that like. No. It, it, so he was. Out? No, he was rolling to give you advantage, but the check didn't go through. It wasn't high enough to give he wasn't, you advantage, yeah. so you he wasn't. Roll. Yeah, he wasn't able to find anything that uh, would help you. Yep, that is, uh, that's good enough. You're able to, uh, what were you looking for? Just like try uh, to find, she... yeah. what was that? Yeah, just like in the wind. Try to get like a, a scent of her. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, you, you're getting pretty close. You you know you're able to find out that she um, routinely visits this uh, coffee shop over and over again. But like it's not like it's on very specific days, and you're able to determine that uh, she's visiting this coffee shop to uh, on the same days that lines up perfectly for one particular bartender's schedule. Oh, I see. Okay. And then you need to do uh, one more. Is the bartender working today? Yep. 
Yes, he is. Can she use her persuade skills to find out more about her from the bartender? Yes, you can. Okay, cool. Also, I have I have proficiency in persuasion. Could I try to assist her? Yes, you can. And just like you know, kind of going with her and just be all casual, <laughs> likely using the gift to gab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you all walk in just like, hey. Yeah, yeah, make it make it seem all casual, like mm -hmm. an old friend of mine. Okay. So I roll a persuasion to see if mm -hmm. I can assist. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. That's a high persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you have advantage on your persuasion roll. I mean, I don't think that's gonna be mine. <laughs> well, I'm just like I'm, I'm, I'm wingmanning it. Yep. Yeah, because you. Uh, just so you can roll advantage. Roll again. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and roll again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, so you guys, you, you guys roll in trying to be all smooth, and this guy's just like, "Hey, I, uh, do you want, do you want a, do you want a coffee?" I don't, I don't know. Hey, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk about any, anything like customers. Like, I, we have regulars all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. He he doesn't seem to know that she's always around when he is. Hmm. If they stuck around, if she'd come in. You want to uh, stick around? Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, you guys spend. If Clayton wants to. <laughs> What's that? If Clayton wants to. Well, like half my job is waiting, so I could definitely <laughs> wait if it means we could possibly find her here. Yep. Yeah, you guys stick around. Uh, make a. I, I'll say for this this counts as part of it, but like this would be like a perception check to see what uh, coming in to see her coming in. Okay. So like, can is it just is it just a regular oh. perception check? Can I'll say. Help with that? <laughs> I was gonna say if, if anybody wants to help, that's perception. But yeah, I can I can help with perception. She already rolled. Wow. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Well. Can, can you I guys just roll mine anyway? <sighs> I mean, if you want to, but it's not going to help her. Oh <laughs> like I said, it's not going to help her. <laughs> I, I, I just want a mocha. Hit me a mocha. <laughs> yeah. Hit me up with that mocha. Whoops you up a nice... Yeah. He's a good bartender. He, uh, I mean, like, he makes a good coffee. Um, she doesn't seem to be coming in. And uh, you guys came in pretty early, so... You assume that she like uh, knowing knowing her schedule. Uh, this like she has you know she's broken the schedule, so you assume that something has happened that she didn't uh, show up or for some other reason she was mm -hmm. not here today. Alright, any other leads about this? So are we out of the skill challenge or what do we got? You have one you have one to make one more. <laughs> the only useful thing I have left is history. Oh, do that history. We got a history teacher with us. <laughs> <laughs> That's so uh, true. History. How are you going to use your history? history if I, so I, could, I could attempt to help if you're going to use your history. How are you going to use your history to, to try to find this lady? That's what I'm trying to think of. Can we assist her in what we would think we would use history for? Like, what? If, <laughs> if, I to, if, I to, if I wanted to speak to my teammate about what I would use history for, or is that like out of game? Like, I should I shouldn't do that. No, I mean you guys are all uh, like like talking like you're you're basically at this point sitting around on a, in a coffee table or like a coffee table being like okay so how are we gonna find her? Mm -hmm. well, like, 
could. Well, I was just gonna say, you could just like, you know, use your history, what you know about about uh, her or, you know, the her history with Umbrella, anything like that, or any sort of background information you might have that you might be able to dig up. Isn't that what the first history was? She did natural 20 at history check. <laughs> That is true, but that was part um, of the skill challenge. Yes, she. So you can. You, uh, yeah. So trying to find. Yeah. So so using your history. You can always try to like. I guess not look into the uh, like history. Hmm. Yeah. How would you use could history? You use, could you use history as like retracing the steps? that she would have taken had she been here, like, just asking people, like, history wise, like, what do you know of her usual tactics? Well, that would be like, yeah, like, going around and asking people would be a, like, a charisma check. Inve yeah, I figured investigation or charisma, but like, but you're asking them strictly history questions. <laughs> the first president of the United States. In 1492. Sail the ocean blue. I don't even know if that's the right way you say it. That's just want to intimidate this dude and just be like, right? No, I'm ready for this to be just, over. Just so you know, so. So where is this, you know, who, who is this person? You know, when she comes in, just casually talking, but give them the glare eyes. <laughs> well, you guys have been here for quite a while. His shift is ending. Mm. Oh, hey. I'm <laughs> Let's follow that man. <laughs> Eli. In your skill challenges, you're able to reuse your proficiencies. Just it, but at a higher DC. Higher, higher yeah. DC. Yeah. Well, that was my homebrew. I don't know if Lauren's doing that too, but I might as well. I mean, okay. No, yeah. because like, you can't really roll out a history check at this point in time. <laughs> I, I mean, you, you you can use an investigation or a, or not invest an intimidation or like a persuasion, because um, you did try to get. Uh, no, did you do persuasion already? Is that the one that failed? She did do persuasion. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you can always try to do that again or intimidate him. Yeah, let me help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you go with it. Yep, so how, how are you going to go about doing this? So his shift's ending. Has he left yet, or is he still kind of like hanging around? His shift is, is ending. He's like packing up and he's like heading out. So... Hmm. So it's like, you know, late... Um, <clears throat> it's about like five or six right now. Somewhere between four and five, or four and six. I'm not good at intimidations. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, at least proficient. Hey, uh... No, I like no, I, I mean like coming up with intimidation. Oh, okay. Hey. So, it looks like this dude's getting off. If you want, if you want to, we can shake him down outside. I can wait out there. I'll go outside, wait. Yeah, you can kind of come out behind him. You're very intimidating looking. Maybe you could take up the lead, and Baldus can follow, follow up. Yeah. I'll wait outside, and then once he starts heading out, I'll step in his way, and you come up behind him. All right. Now. Sounds like a good plan. I'll get. Let me give the both of you some counsel, though. Just, you know, to ensure there are no uh, legal repercussions about this. And I'm going to explain to them a little bit more detail about how to do, uh, uh, get away with the proper shakedown. And I'm going to give both of them encouragement. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what did they add? Uh, so you can add a D8 to uh, a check or any D20 roll, but it's going to be a check. <laughs> cool. Then <laughs> Eldis. Is going to use ability in hand, so on herself. <laughs> and now, like. Oh. Holy snap, hold on. <laughs> wow. So that gives you charisma. You don't even need the help. <laughs> it gives you uh, advantage. Doesn't it? 
And get, yeah, you get advantage. <laughs> <laughs> you get advantage and a D8. <laughs> Damn. Finish this off strong. <laughs> so yeah, now it's just gonna, now it's just gonna go wait outside, just looking at the lot. <laughs> yep, you're 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 her wingman right now. Yep. <laughs> All right. So I guess you've already got an, uh, you've already got uh, advantage with um, ability enhancer. But it could be extra intimidating if they both do it. Still. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You, both of you do it. Both of you do it. All right. Yep. So once he comes right. outside, Malik's just gonna step in front of him and just so, yeah. arms crossed and just glaring eyes. And Val is just like behind him. <laughs> Walking up behind him, I'm menacing. Oh! oh. Whoa. It's not even the D8. With, with, with the D8. Yeah, I, I, that's without the D8. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Well, good thing for advantage. Uh oh. I was displayed. You can add the D8. It's not too add late. Add that D8. There you go. That's a, That's a lot. 23. That's a lot and a whole lot. 23 and 27? 23. Yeah. So this poor guy, he's like, he's like, he, he's got his own cup of coffee in hand. He's just heading out and then like just from, from around the, the, like an alleyway, you just grab him and shove him like against the wall. And then Valdis, you come up from behind him, just like calm. It, it's your, it's your calm demeanor that is scaring him the most. <laughs> so how do you intimidate him? He's already like shaking and pissing himself. He's like, he's not a very big guy. <laughs> Hello there, sir. Ah! What, what the f what's what's going on? What do you want? What do you want? You can take my money. I don't I don't need it. Oh no, we're not here for your money. We're here to know about a certain Margaret Peterson. Yeah, 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 Margaret. What about her? She's a regular. What can you tell us about her? I don't know, man. She's been like. We want she... to know everything. She comes in and she basically describes her entire order. <laughs> <laughs> She comes in, she gets this every single day. She comes in and like, well, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen her too much lately, but she's, uh, I, I, I think, I think I know where she lives. She, she, she does business around here sometime and like her, uh, I, I've, I've overheard her address. Like, it's like, hey man, just, just let me go, just let me live. Tell us the address. Uh, and he'll give you her, uh, what he believes is her address. Like, I don't know, hey man, she, I haven't seen her in a while, just like, if she's done anything, I, I'm not a part of it, man. I'm not a part of it. Should I, can I have in the shadows and, and so and what? And insight checking. <laughs> Make sure he's being legitly scared. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. Us everything he's got. <laughs> insight check. Insight from him. the shadows. Yeah. From yeah. The shadows. <laughs> yeah, you you're you're a little bit deeper in down the um down the alleyway. Just giggling like because I knew they were going there to do stuff like ah, ah, shady corners. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not how shady corners works, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, and you guys are like you guys have really high bonuses. <laughs> I know this is a high skill party. I know. So uh, yeah, he is um, he is being completely truthful uh, to the best of his knowledge. That is her order, and um, that is and he has he is telling the truth about um, obviously he's telling the truth about what he believes his or her address is he has overheard it and he, uh from what he said you can get you can gain that um from what he has overheard he is aware that she is not entirely legit in her business and he's like 
fe and she hasn't been around for a while, so now he's afraid for his own life that something has happened to her, and then you guys, you guys have come to pick him up. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, as gets out of bed, she's like, let him know. Oh, oh thanks. Oh, God. Oh, just... Take care on your way home. I'm out of here, yes. man. You guys. Take care. He lets go. Don't follow me home, man. Don't follow me home. <laughs> he and he's like, he... following him home. <laughs> he, 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 he's like half, like half running down the street, like backwards, like looking over his shoulder, making sure you guys aren't following him. This calm smile and a wave. So <laughs> Malik just like is just peering out from the alleyway, just staring at him as he's running away. <laughs> this is fantastic. Could I be in the shadows following him? <laughs> yeah. That, that was my plan. <laughs> are, so are you, so are you, Eli, are you, are you actually going to be following him? Yes. Yes. All right. I mean, Stop are you going to be, are you trying to, okay, I was going to say, are you trying to be stealthy yeah. about it? Yeah. No. All right. Both of you roll stealth checks. Um, I'm not actually following him. Okay. <laughs> but I thought it was funny. So, yeah. 22. Um, he looks back and he doesn't see anybody following him, so he starts to slow his pace. And he's like, uh, just m he just continues muttering to himself, just like, you know, what the heck is going on here? This is, it's getting weird. Um, I guess as you're following him. No, you would have no reason to say that out loud. But he does uh, seem to be, like, looking around more, like, you know, he's, like, checking his six, and he's just, like, trying to, uh, trying to make sure he's not followed, but he's not doing a very good job. Is there any way I can stealthily, like, is he, when he's not looking behind him, like, go up behind him and just grab him? Man, I mean, yeah. <laughs> he has no idea you're there. I don't... <laughs> All right. He, he's... <laughs> you drag him into another alleyway. Ah, what the heck, man? I told you, I told you not to follow me home. <laughs> okay, this guy is hilarious. <laughs> um, he kind of looks at him, and he's going to try and intimidate him into telling him why he's so paranoid, other than the fact that people are shaking him down in alleys. <laughs> It's mostly the fact that people are shaking me down in alleys, man. <laughs> uh, uh, make an investig or an intimidation check. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> oh. Oh, I thought that was an 18. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a history teacher, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, hey, man, get off me, man. I just want to go home. I, I, I don't have any part in this. I don't want any. I don't have. I don't want to have anything to do with whatever's going on. Mm. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. Hold on a second. I just want to go home. Mm. Okay, hold on. Life alert. <laughs> 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 All right, let's see here. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, okay. He's gonna, he's gonna drop him. Um, well, he wasn't really like holding him up. He was just like grabbing him like around, like his upper torso, <laughs> like grabbing him and holding him, so he could get away. Hugging him. <laughs> yeah, basically, <laughs> hugging him. Yeah. Um, keeping him close. Um, let's see. Nope. He's gonna just let him go and be like, well, sir, oh, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding, but uh, you should be careful. I don't know what the heck's going on, man, but I don't want to have it. Tell your, tell your boss I don't know anything. <laughs> he kind of laughs. Uh, kid, you don't want to know who my boss is. No, I don't. And he starts running. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the homestead. <laughs> yeah, so you... But, uh, I suppose we got everything we need out of that, so... Shall we prepare to depart? Yeah. 
All right. Hey, Val's probably like has the address written down somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. following your lead. And you guys wait for Eli to get back. <laughs> yeah. No. I, I, I don't know she's been. Val's, Val's just been patiently tapping the ground. Mm. Eli's running. <laughs> Sorry, Eli's on the way, but just seems she hasn't been here the last few days, so I can't wait to see what's happened. The home then. Hmm. Interesting. All right. I guess, we'll see. <clears throat> I guess you will see. And as you make your way to the address that uh, he has provided you, we're gonna take a little bit of a break. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> so, um, we'll be seeing you guys, uh, if anybody is in, is in chat right now, we'll be seeing you whenever, uh, whenever we get back, but we're gonna take a short little, uh, midpoint break, and then we'll be right back as they investigate the house of Margaret Peterson. <clears throat> Alright. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so. You guys have discovered the address for a apparently missing Margaret Peterson uh, that you tortured out of a, a poor, just, he's just a bartender, man. <laughs> um, yeah. So you, you discovered the, the location Should've of her. Told the truth. Huh? <laughs> Should have told the truth. Oh, he did. <laughs> He did, like, just. Just a real scared. <laughs> Alright. So. So we're moving out. You're moving out. Yep. Moving it is out. not. It is later in the day. You guys can wait till it's. Uh, until it's. It is nightfall, or you can uh, just leave right now and uh, get there just before nightfall. Well. <clears throat> Let's not uh, keep this business seeming too shady. Yeah, let's keep on moving. Okay. Right. How are over. we moving around this town? Are we like in a rent a car Prius? <laughs> <laughs> you know. We're in a pack. I mean, I'm assuming uh, Clayton has a ride of some sort. You guys, yeah, you, you guys he's, all. He's well off. You guys have a car. <laughs> Yeah. Valdis has two. We're just con convoying it. Yeah. Valdis has two cars that she drives that at the same time. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she's being driven around. <laughs> so, the address that, that you were given is right smack dab in the middle of the suburban neighborhood. Mm. Great. <sighs> so, uh,. Are you guys going to just approach? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna like, you know, park like around the block and just like take a look at it from a from a fair distance. See if yeah. It looks pretty ordinary as just an ordinary suburban house or anything to be suspicious of. Uh. So yeah. Yeah. So um. Once you get to the neighborhood, you have to get. Uh. You'll have to like. You can take your vehicles into the neighborhood, but you would have to go further in. I'm just asking if you guys are going to be uh, just walking in or if you're going to do some other stuff. I'm going to do some other stuff in terms of just investigations so, of the, yep. I guess, the general so, area of the house and everything else. So Clayton, you're going to uh, approach and Malik, are you going to go around? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, just sort of approaching yeah. head on. I'm the face man. Yeah, 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 you're a face. You're supposed to be here. Yeah, I'm supposed I think to be here. Dallas is also like hitting. Like, yeah, yeah. Dallas. Actually, you I, are I, supposed I kinda, to be here. <laughs> that's true. You're <laughs> supposed to be here. But uh, yeah, I kind of like call everybody up and make sure no one knows. It's just like, all right, I think uh, Valdis and I better take the lead on this. Valdis is an old acquaintance of hers and. Well, I need to make sure the legal proceedings are on the up and up in regards to striking a deal on behalf of my corporation, so. But considering the news, <clears throat> considering what we've been told, I'll go around back. Yeah. I want to see if there's anything else going on. Yeah, Eli will follow him. Make sure we're all secure here. 
I'm just gonna float around in the shadows. Float around in the shadows. Okay, everybody who is going around back in AGI, make a spell check. Go, agents. Fly. <laughs> Fly. <laughs> Fly. <laughs> 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 Hmm? Float. <laughs> float, float, float. 29. Wow. Holy snap. <laughs> Man, my stealth isn't even that good. <laughs> Here comes a 20. I'll take a, I'll take a 20. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. A, a dirty 20. I mean, yeah, you guys. Like, you guys sit there in the front for a little bit and just like, okay, you make your decisions, you make your decisions, and then it's just into the bushes. <laughs> You disappear and you make your way behind, um, around the back of the, uh, like, of the neighborhood and, uh, taking your way through the path less traveled. Meanwhile, Clayton and Valdis just walk on up. So, as you approach the address that she, uh, that you've been given, you approach a, uh, an ordinary two-story suburban house. The roof is low, triangular, and covered with flat roof tiles. There are two large windows on the first floor facing the street, facing the, uh, like, you know, the neighborhood street. Smaller windows light in plenty of light to the second story. The house itself is surrounded by a modest garden. And you can see, uh, I guess, Clayton and Malik, or Clayton and Valdos running up uh, the front. You can see just around, like, the side of the house to the backyard. And you can see what appears to be a child's playset. Everyone else who is sneaking around the back, you can, uh, you will see that there is in fact like a child's place at in the back of this house with like other suburban amenities there's like there's a, a trampoline and a bunch of other toys like there's like a one of those tricycle bikes mm. am I allowed to like use spy gadgets on like the windows and stuff yeah yeah, so as you approach the back, there are uh, you, you can see some windows that lead into like the kitchen and the dining area. I'd like to do that then. Like, take a peek in the window or something. Mm -hmm. are, wait, are you are you opening the window or are you just taking a peek in? Uh, I'll like slowly creep, like use, using my spy gadgets. I want to make sure there's no, like, alarm on the window that I use. Ah, uh, okay. just creep it up a little bit, and then just, like, slide my little stick camera in there and look around. <clears throat> yeah, you can absolutely do that. Um, do you need to make a check to to do that? I believe you do, right? Uh, well, just be some sort of spy gadgets check, yeah. Yeah, so just, yeah, make, a, make, make your spy gadgets check. This will be dexterity. So add your dexterity plus your proficiency, uh, and this will be your spy gadgets check. Or mobility in this case. Or mobility, yes, that's right. So mobility, proficiency <clears throat> on... Yeah, so add your mobility and proficiency to make a spy gadgets uh, tool check. Okay. 20. Another 20. So you are able to see, yeah. So with your spy gadgets, you're able to see that the uh, the, the window is alarmed, and you're able to uh, disarm it and get the window open so that you can snake your little snaky op uh, optical scope thing. <laughs> yeah. So basically, now you're, you're under the window. The snake is the, the scope is above your head, and you're looking at a screen, and you're able to see into the house. You are. Uh, able to see that there is nothing moving inside of this room, and all the lights are off that you can see. But does it look like there's like bits of ramsackage and shit? Uh, no, you are looking into the kitchen, and other than the fact that there are some dirty dishes, there's nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Ali's just gonna ring the doorbell. Or if there is one, if there's no doorbell, she's gonna knock. Yep, I'm kind walk. of beside her, just straighten my tie. Yep, you walk up, ring the doorbell, and <laughs> I guess while you're snaking around looking through with your spy gadget, you just hear. Dun -dun. 
He knew what we were doing. <laughs> I was just seeing if there's any people in the back, and it's for safety. <laughs> you could, you still don't see any movement, and you don't hear uh, anybody coming to get the door. Mm. Can I like wave uh, whoever's in the backyard to me? Like, hey, come on. Yeah. Look at these screens. <laughs> and Alec will come over. Look at these screen. There's no movement. <laughs> wonder if anybody's home. Uh, Eli's gonna go, um, if they're up to the back door and, uh, see if it's alarmed. If it is, he's going to disarm it. <laughs> and try to pick the lock. <clears throat> yep, make a dexterity, or a dexterity, uh, spy gadgets. Or no, yeah, spy gadgets? Yeah, I do. Yeah, you do. Okay, dexterity spy gadgets. <laughs> Just so we're aware, who doesn't have spy gadgets? <laughs> um, I mean, I don't I have don't. spy gadgets. Yeah. I don't have spy gadgets because okay. I am. 17. Yes, you are able to um, find that the, uh, again, the, this is locked, or it is uh, alarmed, and you are able to, <laughs> with your spy gadgets as well, uh, unlock the door. Um, but for the, for, you're able to unlock it. But to get into the uh, into this door, it'd be a little bit more. You think that opening this door would trip the alarm, from uh, even from what you've done. Hmm. How big is the window? <laughs> <laughs> the window is enough to climb through. Yes, uh, it's just, a, yeah, so it, it's like at, um, like, chest height, and it, um, is right above, like, the sink for the, the kitchen. Yeah, he's climbing through the window. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, and he's, he, he, he's Valdis and Clayton, you haven't heard any, uh response hmm. wonder if she's home <clears throat> ring the doorbell again ding ding Eli you open the uh, window the rest of the way and you start climbing through uh, yep <laughs> alright that's easy enough to do you can just get in and okay you are now in the kitchen. <clears throat> Does it look like, it, pardon my wording here, but does it look lived in? Like, does it look like she's been here within yeah. the last week? There was, yeah, there's there's dirty okay. dishes in the, in the sink. Okay. okay. So it does look like somebody has in fact actually lived here. Okay. Um, although make a quick I guess make a quick perception check cool I'm proficient in that so that's good I think it's plus five hold on one second these these proficiencies man yes plus five alright 18 <laughs> so um, contrary to like the outside of this house, like in the backyard and the inside of this house. The outside of this house has like a child's play set and it has like a bunch of little toys scattered around the backyard. When you look inside, there is no signs of toys and like there's no like little kitty cups. There's nothing like that that you can see around in the inside of the house. Hmm. <laughs> I was about to say, can I insight the house? <laughs> <laughs> insight the house. Um... No, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, he's just gonna, like, walk out of the kitchen and, and look around the rest of the house. Again, follow this, Clayton. No response. And, Eli, while you're walking around, you are able to see that the, the alarm system right next to, like, the, the kitchen area is something that you're familiar with and you can, if you, if you wish, nice. you can try to disarm it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's on it. <laughs> Make a technology check. 
17. Yeah, you can turn off the alarm system. Nice. All right. Uh, with that being turned off, he's going to um, go to the back door and open the back door. Okay. <laughs> and tell the two to come in the house. <laughs> and tell uh, Malik and... Uh, yeah, I totally forgot his name already. <laughs> Shucks. Shucks. Yeah, to come in. Jacques. Jacques. Just call me Frenchie. Frenchie. <laughs> Frenchie to come in the house. <laughs> oh. That's great. Easy. He looks at Malik and he's like, contrary to what we may believe, I don't. There's no sign of children living here. No toys, no nothing. I think it's a cover-up. Well, it would make sense. Considering the line of work. I suppose. Uh, Lauren, really quick. Mm -hmm. Is it a two-story or a one-story? It is a two-story. All right. Uh, m hey, Malik. You want to do some recon with me? I'll take the upstairs, you stay down here, look around. Yeah. All I right. You just there. Oh, before, and he, as he's walking off, he looks behind his shoulder and he's like, or back above his shoulder, or over his shoulder, and he's like, Malik, by the way, could you let those two in before they ring the doorbell again? <laughs> I know what I was gonna say. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'll let him Awesome. In. Awesome, thank you. And he starts walking up the stairs. So, yeah, Malik's gonna go over with his uh, SMG pulled out because, you know, going around checking corners in the house and everything. Mm -hmm. um, but we can unlock the door and just. I was gonna say before that, Valda, since he's outside, like, I think they should be inside by now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... yeah. She's not. <laughs> once once yeah. he gets over to the door and answers it, it's just, welcome to my home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you. You see, you guys have the face I expected to see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. Right on time. Yep. So, <laughs> she's not here. It doesn't seem like it. There's a little playpen in the, a little playpen or whatever in the backyard, but obviously no children. Nothing mm. like that in the house. Oh, so very low key. Cover up, obviously. Or should one of us perhaps stay outside the door in case she? Or arrives in the middle of ours looking around or should we all go inside some of us should stay some uh, one of us should stay out <laughs> just in the event make it look as if you were just coming in oh. <clears throat> i keep up appearances for a living so maybe i'll keep watch <laughs> and yeah if you uh hmm. yeah just in case she or anybody else stops by supposing to be coming may, home it may come off as less confronting if the mm. familiar face waits outside yeah true but <laughs> oh, i'd rather no. get the job done right away i mean you're outside yeah but you'll come to find that i could talk my way out of anything so whatever whatever might be <laughs> best Whoever decides to stay outside, if you happen to see or hear her pulling in through a car, just ring the doorbell. We'll know. Mm. And we'll get out. Alright, sounds good. I suppose if you insist, then I'll head inside. Alright, so I'll keep watch outside. <laughs> um, yeah, keep an eye out, see if anybody's uh, coming our way. Okay. Passive perception is 20. Passive perception. Snap, son! My <laughs> lord. I was, I was going to have you make a, a perception check, but... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no. Yeah, you can, use, you can use that perception to, to keep an eye out. Alright. Didn't I just, like, pull one of my pens out of my jacket pocket? I'm just sort of, like, clicking it idly. All right. So, who went upstairs? I did. 
you know, I went upstairs, Malik, and the Malik Jacques is are... checking the downstairs and everything. All right. So downstairs, um, it, there are uh, there's only like a good few doors down here. There's only um, there's only what, three doors. Okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna. There's no, yeah. There's not that much um, down below. If I remember correctly. Yeah. So in the first floor, there's a, there's that large kitchen. Uh, there's a bathroom, a, a living room, dining room, and on the fr actually on the first floor, uh, you can s you see that the door to the ho her home office is open, as well as another uh, three closed doors. Okay. Um, I'm gonna care carefully move down. Well, I'm kind of investigating anything that I possibly can. Like if there were any previous signs, like movement, uh, like movements anywhere, or if there are things that might be out of place anywhere, especially when getting into like the hallway. Okay. Um, to like those to like all the closed rooms, uh, mm -hmm. making sure that there's nothing there that could. You know, just you know, maybe maybe there's a silent a silent alarm. You just trip right. something, you know. Check for traps. <laughs> just make an investigation check. I'm checking. Checking. <laughs> yeah, you, you do your best to uh, to look around. There are uh, no traps inside of the house that you are aware of. Um, the doors seem to be uh, all unlocked, as well as. Um, there isn't anything out of the ordinary, like in terms of. You said you were looking to see if anything was like out of place as well. Yeah, like if there are anything, like anything, uh, stuff knocked over, or like, I don't know, maybe there's traces of something on the ground, you know. No, nothing that you can see. Of course, because it's an eleven. Um... Everything looks like it's it is where it needs to be. Cool. Somebody else help. Should I investigate for a struggle, or maybe like maybe an answering machine or something that's breaking? Yeah. An answering machine. Uh, yeah. Go yeah. ahead and uh make another investigation check. But you're looking um. Oh, what the F? <laughs> hey, F, man. When the agents are useless, <laughs> because oh. roll 20 sucks sometimes. <laughs> roll the one, still roll the 12. Thank you, there's roll no sign of There's no sign of a struggle. I mean, I don't know why you, uh, you think your 11 is bad. You succeeded, and there's no struggle. No, one was bad. Well, it's a natural one. So. <laughs> well, I, I know, but like, there's, there, there is no struggle. Uh, there is nothing out of place. There are no traps. Was there like an answering machine with a blinking light? You didn't see an answering answering machine, uh, but um, M Malik wasn't looking for an answering machine, so. Yeah, but I just asked about an answering machine. Yeah, but you critically critically failed. Okay. <laughs> I mean, can I just like passively see? It? <laughs> <laughs> passively, yeah. Well, as you're as you're looking around. Um, not, like as you're looking around, you're, just, you're you're you know doing your best to investigate as close as you can, and Malik is just is pointing out everything that uh, right before you do. You're like, oh, there's oh, okay, uh, uh, mm. yeah, yeah, <laughs> you you got it, you got it, and uh, you move back into the main living room, uh, and you're uh, you you're just investigating this hallway with the doors, right? Because you haven't gone into the home office. Yeah, I haven't gone into the rooms yet. Yeah. Yes, you haven't you haven't opened any doors? Nope, I haven't opened any doors yet. Okay. Um Is it is it like dark in these areas? Like Yeah, all the lights are off and I think all of you have dark vision, so Yeah. <laughs> or most of you do. I don't think Vault this does. Yeah, most of you are able to get around pretty easily without uh, turning, having to t uh, turn the lights on. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I guess. But he's just gonna go. Office is open. 
I'm gonna go in and check. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go in and check the office. All right. At this point, because it's open, so you know. Yep. Walk right Was on in. Was there any other rooms that I could have went to search? While there are. Th doing the yeah, office? there are three other doors that are closed, and um, Malik has determined that none of them are, are trapped in any way or uh, un or locked. Oh. But he did not open them. I just pop them open, look in. Yep, the first one you open is a supply closet that is chock full of, uh, make an investigation check. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's chock full of investigation checks. Nice! Hey. You tear that place up, it looks like it's, I mean, she's an engineer, she's got like engineer stuff. You, uh, you're able to find, uh, somebody start writing this down. Oh, oh, shit. oh okay. <laughs> you find in this closet, you find a nozzle, a propane canister, a roll of paracord. Oh, no. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> I already launched it. Yeah, me too. Paracord. Seven scrap material. Four batteries. And a box of nails. Oh, okay. Nice. <clears throat> Not that fast. Just hit the jackpot. <laughs> Just one box of nails? Just one box of nails. It's like a little workshop. This is this is kinda of what I got. This is as fast as <laughs> <laughs> Nozzle. Paracord. Paracord, you missed canister, oh, canister. Seven scrap, four batteries, one box of nails. Yeah, that is what you okay. find in her uh, supply closet. Um, and it is basically a uh, a little workshop area that she's got all <laughs> like set up to do, you know, to do some crafting and all that. And you can see that the other door that she, um, or like th there's another door that opens to it and it looks to be like a closet that had been that had the wall knocked down and was converted into one giant room. It oh, used to be two closets. Room. Yeah, it was two closets that uh, were like, had the wall knocked down between them to make one giant room that she used for, apparently, uh, to keep a lot of her equipment and to do whatever tinkering she needed to. Okay, well, first off, I'm, I'm gonna take out uh, the paracord um, and scrap and the batteries. Mm -hmm. And then, is there anything in the the big tinker room that seems useful? You're in the tinker room, and that was everything that was in it. Oh, oh okay, that is the tinker room. Yeah, he opened one of the doors, and there it enters into like a large, uh, a large room that looks to be two rooms combined. Okay. So, that's two of the doors that were. Uh, that lead to this room. Hmm. All right, so uh, Malik, you went into the home office. <clears throat> yeah, I went into the office. Okay, uh, there uh, is a an answering machine in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go up to the answering machine and. Uh, is it blank and red? It is, in fact, blank and red. Yep, just uh, click. I want to know what's. I want to know what you got, girl. All right, and as you're as you're listening to that, uh, Eli, what are you doing? Heading to the top. And Valdis, where are you going? All right. Uh, I'd say she's still around the bottom area. Okay, just like sitting on the couch waiting for her to come home. <laughs> Just sitting with her feet on the coffee table. <laughs> as all these, as, as all these like shady roguish figures are like checking the corners and the doors and like making sure nothing's bugged. I'm so much has managed. She's still gonna put her legs on the table. <laughs> or or cooking or cooking her dinner. <laughs> so you you're just roaming around the bottom floor then. She's literally yeah. just like, I don't need to do anything because everyone's doing it for me. Let me just like, girl, you got some water? No. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I, I take some wine real quick. 
<laughs> um, so, uh, let's see. When he reaches the top of the stairs, what does he, like, what does he see? Like... Well, once you get to the top, um, mm -hmm. you're, uh, confronted with, well, just, like, a whole bunch of closed doors. Um. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Figures. Um, but, like, is, is it, like, going this way and this way, or is it just going, like, up the stairs to the left or to the right? I don't know if those are different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like what do you mean like, like when you get to the top of the stairs uh right. it branches off to in different directions to get oh, to the okay, different okay. doors that, that was my question okay i get it now got it yeah i don't know how stairs work guys i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> uh no if, if, and if like when you were like if you were saying like this way and that way and you're doing hand motions also know that i can't see you oh, no I, oh did i say okay you well know, i don't know because like it sounded like you were saying like this way and that way and like we're like making hand motions oh oh i meant to say left or right but um <laughs> so yeah we get Sorry. to the top of the stairs and it branches off uh heading in different directions to get to the different doors mm, okay he's gonna open the first one he sees <laughs> yep and the first one you see leads you directly into her, uh, into the master bedroom, her bedroom. Okay. Uh, it looks... It looks like she, um, just, like, she didn't make her bed. It doesn't look like okay. it was tossed or like it was, um, like, you know, it doesn't look like there was anything violent that happened. It's just, like, she just didn't make her bed and there's some... <laughs> articles of clothing that are uh, scattered around okay by these articles of clothing can i tell what class she is like as far as like uh, are you talking like rich like, or poor oh her or... economic status yeah her economic status yeah higher than yours uh she, okay. <laughs> she's a middle class <laughs> it, hey, it doesn't take much oh, okay. Uh, okay. so she's not like overly rich or she's anything. not wealthy okay no, but she um, is. Uh, she does have. Uh, she does look to. Ha she does look to have enough money to have some some luxury items. Okay. Any computers? Not in her room. Okay, so no laptops. Got it. <laughs> um, is there any other doors in the master bedroom? The only one that leads to a bathroom. Oh, I figured. Okay, so he. <laughs> does the backup motion shutting the door <laughs> like he was never there and he moves on to the next one yep and the other two um are just uh, empty bedrooms um they're like they, they're completely made but they don't look like they've been lived in or anything touched yeah. <laughs> hmm that's suspicious uh guest bedrooms oh okay 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 he uh in that case, still no signs of children. No signs of kids. <laughs> Got it. All right. He kind of uh, walks casually back downstairs. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. He kind of, if there's anybody in his vicinity when he gets downstairs, he's going to be like, well, it's clear upstairs. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, <clears throat> now, like, you press the button on the... Uh, what do you call that? Answering, answering machine. machine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on the answering machine. Um, a lot of it, uh, it seems to be with obviously within the, like the last few days. Um, it seems to be a lot of contacts that she has, uh, that are wondering like when she's going to get back in contact with them. Or just like people, it's mostly just a bunch of people just saying like, hey, you know, call me back. Uh, like, you know, is anything going on? Call me back. Oh, okay. So, so these are like, these are people that are like wondering where she is. Yep. Okay. So, with that, that down real quick. Um, so is there like a computer in that? Yeah. So, you're in, so in her personal office, she does have a personal computer as well as like her desk. Uh, which is full of a lot of her like notes and a bunch of other stuff. 
point of looking like, If you would like to go and investigate that really quick. Yeah, I would like to. Yeah, I would like to investigate a lot of this stuff real quick. Um, all this is gonna come in. <clears throat> all right. So uh, yeah, if it, actually, if everybody pops in the room, it's just like. So nobody's been in contact with her for a few days, it seems. They're waiting for her to contact them back. So this is interesting. So yeah, he's gonna go through and start checking up on all these other things. Make that uh, investigation. Is uh, Jacques doing anything right now while they're uh, rummaging through her desk? Valdis assist. Um, so Valdis is assistant. You get advantage. Are oh. <laughs> so, so you're able to get uh, you're able to find that a uh, lot of her notes as well as a lot of her um. Most of it is just like out in the open of in terms of like her notepad and um. Uh different folders that she had you can easily just go just like you know open up some of the side drawers and find a lot of the contacts that she did have um but nothing pertaining to anything that's happened recently it just seems to be contacts and like contact information as well as notes on whatever technologies she had and she was selling So nothing out of the uh, nothing that looks to be out of the ordinary. Nothing like, telling. You know. Although you do have like obviously everything that is on her desk, um, she has a lot of the um, it's a lot of contact information, a lot of names to go through, names, numbers, uh, as well as information on the actual uh, tech that she was slinging. Okay. Oh. Always, um, I guess just steal the documents <laughs> and just like. I guess yeah. Okay. I guess we can I'll pull just, over it some more later. Yeah, I guess I'll just take the documents then. Mm -hmm. Um, just kind of put them on the side and we'll put this over later. Right in your pocket, or I assume <laughs> you guys got some bags or something. Um, yeah. Whatever. Does it? Yeah. Um. Uh, to take all of her stuff, that's gonna be that's gonna take up like an inventory slot. So just say like Margaret Peterson uh, research <laughs> notes and or yeah like uh, contact info and um, uh, tech notes. Tech notes. Okay, research tech. Yeah, there was one other door that you guys haven't gone through. I'll go through it. <laughs> yep. Y you raid her. You raid her. You raid her tech. Uh, her little like uh, information little area, and then you're just like, might, 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 And what's in this door? Uh, it looks to be heading down into a basement. Oh no! Well, I'm just gonna be bop on down. <laughs> <laughs> so as you're heading down to the basement, obviously the lights are off, and you can see a good distance. Um, uh, down into the dark and you you can see some and you can hear first uh, a kind of shuffling a quiet shuffling and then as your eyes are looking around you don't see any shapes but you can see a kind of faint movement in some corners of the room just a kind of rocking back and forth but nothing too nothing too uh, you know big uh, turn on the lights. Yeah, you turn on the light. Uh, you you reach around for the the switch. You go, and right as you do, a zombie right next to you that you had not seen goes and tries to take a grab at you. I'm gonna need uh, you to roll initiative. How did I not see it with my dark vision? Um, I said that there was. You can see that there are a bunch of them around, and as soon as you uh, flipped it on, you uh, he. Like wakes up and just charges you. Oh, so it was unmoving. Okay, it was unmoving. It was not moving, and there was only a few okay. of them that were, uh, like swaying. Okay. So I need you to make. I, I, 
I didn't get a visual of the room. Okay. It's yeah, yeah well it's it's dark. You got a visual now, and there's a, it's a basement with five zombies in here. One of them has is now charging at you. And I need you to make a uh I guess They're all running at you, so I'm gonna need everyone to roll initiative. Oh, oh. Do I have to roll initiative too? Probably. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey. Uh, depending on on what happened, he may not have had to, but they're all rushing him now. Oh, rip. Oh. <laughs> Does everybody else want to roll before I do? <laughs> I did the worst. You can't do any worse than me. <laughs> nice. Wow. I don't need that. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't need it. I don't need it. Of course. Oh. It's not a one, but still. It's not a one. It's not a one, but still. I love how the guy outside and the woman just have the high initiative. Business sense is a thing. <laughs> Where's Where is... everybody else? Oh, there. In, 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 so I'm still. This. Okay. So, so everybody I'm is in the. the... Everybody is in the, or Malik and Valdis are both in the uh, office. That they have just finished stuffing papers into their pockets, into their bags, and everything. Eli uh, has you have come back downstairs, and I'll say you're you're um, in the other room, the main room, living room. Clayton's outside, and Jacques is being being grabbed at. That is. Okay, so I need some initiative once I get some paper that is clean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <clears throat> just uh, you guys can see it. Which who rolled highest? Uh, that'd be Valdis. <laughs> yeah, Valdis. <laughs> With her natural twenty. Yeah. Just yeah. go. To, just go uh, down the line. Well, then I'm after that, I think, with a 13. What did Valdis roll? Clayton. Uh, Valdis was a 23. Mm -hmm. You rolled... I rolled a 13. And okay. then it's Eli at 12. And then Malik at 10. Mm -hmm. Jacques at 5. <laughs> the one Poor who needs guy. it. Yeah. Hold on. How do you spell that? <laughs> just, just put French. French. <laughs> French. French E. French E. I E. French E. French. You have a five? But yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess I could change my name here and say Jacques. French. Yeah, cause like I, I, I'm looking at everybody's like names for their for it. And it's like I, I never remember your name. <laughs> All right. So, um. As this uh, zombie starts shambling towards you. Let's see, how is that? are we gonna do this? Well, it's changed if you need to reset. Print. No, it's okay. Okay. Uh, updated for me, so. Yeah, okay, it's good. Cool. Yeah, so we'll just. Yeah, I, I, I know how to do this. He's gonna make a. Bite attack against you. Wait, how, how close was he? Well, he's able to get to you within his feet, or within his movement, which is 15 feet. Then I couldn't see him with my night vision? Uh, everybody in this room is within 20 feet of you. Oh, okay. I just, I, I didn't get why I didn't see him with the, the dark vision. <clears throat> we didn't have the lights. Dude. Okay. <laughs> Does 12 hit you? Oh, I guess, actually, I don't. I shouldn't be rolling no. No. Uh, attacks for... 12 does, uh, 12 does not hit you? So the no, zombie comes at... Hit. Yeah, so one of the zombies comes up and tries to take a bite at you and just completely whiffs it. And, and there's 
gonna be everyone else is gonna move closer as now that the lights are on and they've uh, woken and they've arms are risen and they're just walking at you. Uh, the only there's only one more who can reach you. Yeah. Wow. Critical. <laughs> Alright. So this zombie latches on. Bless you. And does <coughs> nine points of damage and you are grappled. And it is your turn. How much points of damage? Nine. Nine oh, points of damage, yeah, five of which is uh, is necrotic. Okay. Yeah, specifically nine points of piercing. Uh, or four points of piercing, five necrotic. And it is your turn. The rest have just moved closer to you. Was it my turn? Mm-hmm. What about the other people in initiative? Uh, this is at the uh, this is at the bottom of initiative. So they uh, this is uh, when the round happens. They don't know anything's happened yet, so they continue doing oh. what they were doing. Okay, I get you, I get you, I get you. So this is yeah. So I just went through until uh, it hit the zombies, and then you are next. So I have one on me, one in front of me, and I have two that are close. Yeah, and there's another one behind them, just kind of like walking up. Okay, so there's five total that I can see. Yeah, and now that the lights are on, there is only five. Oh, okay. Um... I think I'm going to go... So I, can, I can still do all my stuff, right? Like, I think I so. Can just, like... I'm gonna, once I find my freaking page again, I'm gonna use my uh, pulse grenade. Okay. Um. Yeah. So within 30 feet. And so pulse grenade. And also function on the water creatures within 10 feet at this point must make Constitution save and throw. So that would include you. Yeah. You're just gonna drop it at your feet? Yeah. Alright. Well, like, if, if I can roll it a little bit, but I'll, well, I'll like, still be within. So, the yeah, this this room isn't very big. Yeah. You can hit everybody uh, down here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we'll do that. I'll take the hit. Wait, no, creatures within 10 feet of the point? Uh, yeah, creatures within 10 feet of the point must make constitution Oh, 30 feet was how far you can throw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you can still hit, you can still hit everybody. Okay. But that's including myself as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'll do that. Do I, do, do I have to roll? Yeah, something? yeah, yeah. You, you just roll the damage for it, and um, oh. they have they, you have to save to uh, half the damage and the effect. Just four d six. It's ten points. All right, and everybody has to make a uh, which uh, what what saving throw? Uh, it's a Constitution. Okay, I've got to make five saving throws. Now uh, that goes off of my DC, right? Yes, your um. Yeah, it should just be your tool, tool save DC. DC. Yeah. Yeah. That is a. Uh... <laughs> 17. Oh. One of them succeeds. Is it 17 to, uh... 17 is what's... Yeah, 17 okay. is what it says. 
one succeeds. One of them fails. Two of them fail. Three of them fail. Four of them fail. And so, wait, did I overroll? One, no, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so that one doesn't count, but they're, they're, they still fail. Um, so four of them fail, one of them succeeds. One of them all the way that's in the back, that's uh, who's uh, being covered, or like he's got like cover from the other two. He's able to um, work through it, and it takes five points of damage. Um, on it because it's half because yeah. he took ten. And the others take ten and are they take half damage. Yeah, and the other others are deaf and stunned. Deaf and stunned. Yeah, until the end of my next turn. Okay. And then do I have, I have to roll Constitution save? You as have well, to roll. Right? Yeah, now you have to roll to save against your uh, oh, flash. <laughs> if you throw it and you uh, subject yourself to it, would you have advantage because you can look away? Because like guess it's up to you. That's what I'm wondering, because, like, I, you would... I would prefer not to take it, you know? Like, uh... <laughs> Let's see. Like, I got this zombie I'm using as my shield against... High-frequency the... sonic blast. Hmm. Yeah, I'll say that, um... Yeah, dropping it uh, down a... At you since you're you're still caught in it you have to make a, a regular save like everybody else what about so like then you advantage just because I'm, I'm doing it yeah yeah you wouldn't get advantage even though you're the one throwing the grenade because it's still a grenade okay i was, just, I was curious yeah so you you only take 10 damage in uh everybody except for the one all the way in the back is uh stunned and uh blinded until the end of your next turn no, they're not stunned that, deafened no, yeah. Dead. Yeah, so well. yeah, so you are no longer grappled and they're all just sitting there flailing around screaming and everybody who is upstairs now heard yeah, a you know, Yeah, you that. all hear a loud just like explosion and as well as a a bunch of like inhuman moans and screams coming from within the house. Now, as that happens, uh Clayton, as you're looking around outside, uh, a couple of lights are starting to turn on in some neighboring buildings is it nighttime right now it is approaching nighttime okay uh it is fairly it is pretty close to nighttime it's like sundown at this mm -hmm. point and the next up on uh next up is valdis you just heard a loud explosion as well as um coming from directly behind you down the down the stairs Valdis? Oh. Valdis! Uh oh. Oh no. Did you crash? Valdis! <laughs> Hi, low. Wake up. <laughs> wakey, wakey. Eight, six, and bakey. bakey. <laughs> uh oh. I think we might have lost her. Oh, rip! <laughs> oh. As, as, once, once we start hearing snoring, that's, a, that's we can confirm that. Um, <laughs> let me see if, she, if she's any. Uh, let me just open her character sheet really quick. See if she's got anything to just like uh, sit on wall. <clears throat> All right, so she is. Yeah, yeah, okay, so... Yeah, she can pull out, like, a crossbow and uh, set up by the front of the stairs. So she, like, she reaches into, uh, like, her attaché case and, like, pulls out this okay. uh, pretty elegant-looking crossbow, loads a bolt into it, and is sitting up at the top of the stairs and is, like, uh, yelling at Frenchie to get, to, like, get to the top. And she's gonna, uh, well, 
to load a crossbow. No, this would already be loaded. She's gonna hold her action to fire the crossbow at uh, any of them that follow uh, uh, him up. And then Clayton, it's your turn. Eli, you're up next. Okay, so hearing that and seeing some of the lights going on in the, the neighboring houses, and it's still pretty scarce up here. Nobody approached this house or anything, right? Yeah, you have, you've been keeping an eye out. It's a pretty quiet neighborhood so far until okay. the explosion. Yeah, uh, so I guess not wanting to be uh, seen outside of it after that, I'm just going to head inside and start making my way uh, towards the others in the hall and just be like, okay, what was that? What's going on? <laughs> Grenade went off. I don't know. Uh, is there some sort of situation here? You guys yeah. can, yeah, you guys can hear the, uh, down the, in one of the doors, there's a bunch of just like, Argh. Oh, okay, Be, being an umbrella agent, would I, like, You're argue? pretty aware of what that is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like. Uh, what all can I uh, see from how far I can get with 30 feet of movement? With 30 outside. feet of movement, or you 40, can get... 40 feet of movement from outside. Oh, 40 feet of movement. You can get right up to the mouth of the, uh, the door. <clears throat> okay, so I can kind of see, look over Valdis's shoulder and see what's going on down there. Yeah. Ah, shoot. Yeah, just from, Actually, yeah, right not... from the front, from, from the front door, you can get right through and into the, the mouth of the door heading down to the basement. All right, uh, hmm. Yeah, there's not too much I can do. So I'm just going to... You also notice that one of your uh, team, or one of your uh, party members has been uh, blinded and stunned, or yeah, definitely yeah, been stunned thinking, down at the like, bottom. I was gonna I was gonna encourage him, but he can't, I can't. Um, so... I'm just going to use my bonus action to... Oh, right, yeah, all, all of them are, like, blinded or deafened and stunned, too, yeah, so there's pretty not much, really too much I can do. There is a there is currently a, a traffic jam at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Come on down! Yeah, it's clean. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull out a flashlight. I'm gonna hold my action in case any of them start coming up to, to try and uh, blind them or otherwise um, distract them. You know, if uh, if they if they look to to you know get out of their stun. Yeah. So just um, you just like prepare to put one of them back into it, basically. Yeah. Eli, it's your turn. Malik, you're up next. Okay, so I, I was in the office. So how far can I can I get to? You, the yeah, you, with your down the stairs? with your movement, you can get all the way down to Frenchy. Awesome. <laughs> can I like grab onto him and like start dragging him back up the stairs? You can. Well, let's see. How much movement do you have? Uh, well, hold on. I can take a dash as a bonus action. Oh, you've got enough room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can, yeah. So you can, you can get down there, and you can uh, use your action to grab him, and then uh, your bonus action to get back up the stairs. Awesome. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> and okay. shutting the door behind me. <laughs> you can get, yeah. You get to the top possible. of the stairs, and uh, just kick that door shut, and and as all the other ones are are. Uh, stunned and can't move and the other one in the back is just trying to like get through this wall of zombies uh, currently uh, the door is closed and you can snap Frenchy out of it awesome just slap <laughs> Malik <laughs> Malik you want to slap him out of it <laughs> uh, wait wait uh, yeah. wait Frenchy you're it's sure. Jacques, it, they, it just lasts until the end of your turn. End you don't have to make next turn. Okay, you don't, they don't have to make another save to get out no. of it. Okay, so you, no. yeah. Okay. All right, so Malik, what you doing? No, uh, Malik is just gonna is like coming out of the room, just like, and lightly is just looking at everybody. 
So, or, 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 no, and then he's gonna see Jacques, uh, I guess, like, please, uh, Eli didn't slap Jacques out of it yet. <laughs> yeah, nope. he's, uh, he's coming out of it, but it's, um, he's still just, like, rubbing, rubbing his face. Yeah. <laughs> so can I just, like, slap him out of it then? <laughs> just like, hey, uh, get a hold of yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, hey, soldier, get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Special attack. All right, Jacques, you take one point of damage. I'm kidding. <laughs> just kidding. So, I'm about to. <laughs> are you are you going to uh, do anything else on your turn? Just at the top of the stairs. Um. So the door closed behind. The them, door right? is closed. Or... Yeah. Okay. You like kick yeah. the door closed on the way um... on the way up. And you guys are like crowded in this hallway between the office and the uh, main living room. So, uh, would that have counted as an action to do, or? I, I still, I'll say you still have an action left. Okay, yeah. So what I want to do is I, I want to keep a distance from the door. I have like forty movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can easily uh, uh, maneuver around this house. Yeah, so I want to keep a distance from the door, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my action. Uh, I have my TMP out. I have it aimed over at the door. We've got a suppressor on it. And okay. if uh, something, let's say, you know, a uh, zombie or whatever gets through the door, because he doesn't know if they're stunned or not. He doesn't know that they're stunned. Yeah. Um, yeah, if that happens, he's just going to fire at the first one that comes out. Okay. Frenchie, you're up. And uh, well, you're still stunned, no, and then yeah, your turn I'm ends. Saying, I'm stunned, right? Yeah, and then your turn ends, and you're back up, and you're uh, ready to go. But it is back to Valdis, <laughs> who, who is not here. Ilo. Ilo. <laughs> I mean, like somebody if you guys, first. if you guys, if you guys, if you guys mute me or something, I can screech. Ah. Um, <laughs> I've done it before, and just it don't wake her up. And it wakes her up. You Hold know on. the frequency needed to wake her up. <laughs> like, I'm I not know. Through this. <laughs> I'm. Okay, this I, wait, hold on. I'm gonna mute you, and somebody tell me what he's done. <laughs> I've got him muted on high end. Holy crap! I heard it through one of you guys! <laughs> oh, that's amazing! It sounded like some super terror bird. I literally was able to hear that through every, like, through somebody else's headset. That was I'm wondering who, I'm wondering who, like, I'm, I'm really close to my mic now, so, like, I don't want to do my ears. <laughs> Just... Yeah, it's our bleeding right now. <laughs> Hello. Uh, that way, did that get you? <laughs> I think I think she's solidly asleep. Um, but it's okay. Yeah. She's going to uh, she's going to she's start. Been yeah, she's going to <laughs> continue start keeping. <laughs> she's going to continue holding her uh, crossbow action, and um, she's actually going to walk. Uh, like she like aimed at the door, make, making sure that she has line of sight. She's gonna look out the windows of the house, um, and make sure that nobody is like coming to it, like investigate. Okay. And then it's gonna be uh, Clayton's turn. Eli, you're up next. Oh uh, well, the way I see it, if we got some sort of situation going on here. We might not want to stick around. What did we? Did we find anything useful? I want to take it with. <laughs> Oof. Uh, I've got pap <clears throat> papers, uh, mm. research, contacts, any tech from and Margaret. No sign of Margaret? No sign. Uh, Alright, we may have to call this a lost cause. Well, <laughs> I'm going, uh, who's, who's up next after me? It is Eli up next. Eli. All right. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna uh, uh, talk over to Eli. Just like, hey, we may well want to consider getting out of here. So, I'm gonna kind of start moving towards the door, but I'm gonna give Eli encouragement. Okay. 
and kind of start positioning myself near the near the front and also kind of looking out like well this getting the lay yeah. of the land see if anything's see, anything's amiss or anyone's coming to investigate so you're both posted up by the front making sure mm-hmm. that uh you, nobody's like looking this direction yep okay eli you're up next <clears throat> All right, Eli's going to throw a Hail Mary here and <laughs> try, try, go back into the home office. Um, since he's a tech guy, he wants to try and remove the hard drive of the computer. <laughs> yeah, make a technology check and, use, and see if you can just take that whole darn thing with you. <laughs> oh man, like last time. Yeah, well, like with the um, with with uh, <laughs> Tron, they just taking the whole just taking the whole freaking yeah. computer. This is a little bit more a little bit more finesse with this, and yeah, you're able to um, pull out your your tools and just like open up this computer, like your personal computer, wide open. Take all the parts that you know that uh, there would be information on, and um, uh, st- stuff that into your inventory. I will say that is also going to take up a slot. Okay. Um, just so it is. Just so it's like, I don't know if this matters or not, but he's actually going to purposely put this in the, uh, the case, the, the, uh, attached case. Yeah. Um, medium. Not in yeah. his pocket. <laughs> put it in, in, in your figurative pockets. You have, yes. <laughs> you have a lot of yes. those. Yes. So okay, yeah, so what do you, I call you stick it, it in your attached case. Uh, call this just Margaret's Computer parts? hard drive. <laughs> <clears throat> Margaret Peterson, uh, home computer hard drive. Okay. Something along uh, those lines. Can uh, I, I'm sure that will take another action, or if it could be done as the same action, uh, c- can you put it back together so it doesn't look like it was taken apart? On your next turn. Okay. Perfect. And remember that you still have um, encouragement. Mm, I do have encouragement. Also, Malik, you're up next. Okay. But yeah, so on your next on your next turn, uh, you can put that computer back together. Okay. There's not much more I can do, so Malik, go. <laughs> all right. So with that all said, all well, my vocal cords are dead. Um, I I would imagine. <laughs> <sighs> um. Yeah, it's just time to go. So, like, how far? Well, like, I guess my question is, how far is everybody away from the door? Is like everybody just away from that door now? Yeah, everybody. Oh, uh, Jacques is still with you by the door, but that's just because he just woke up. <laughs> oh, I, I moved away. Where are you? I like I said I move back so that way like when the door if the door slams open I'm not near it for the Oh door. okay yeah 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 so he's yeah he's with you so we're uh, whichever side of the door you wanted to be on closer to the office or closer to the um living room uh the living room Yeah closer to the exit Yeah so he yeah he's right next to you so there's no one next uh no one by the door now Okay Although you so... uh, you can hear though that the zombies have woken up or they've sh- uh shaking themselves out of it and they're they're moving okay so malik makes it clear he's like <clears throat> obviously we're gonna hightail it out of here but i need to make sure the rest of you get out of here first i'll hold them back in the event that they get out the door but i will be following behind all right sounds like a plan no, no, no. Jacques has got this under control. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's still gonna <clears throat> keep his held action. Yeah. Um, and staying within range. Silenced um, weapon at the door. Silenced weapon, yeah, silenced weapon aimed over at the door. Still in range. He wants to make sure everybody else gets out before he does. Yeah. <clears throat> You may want to think. So I to make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. No, wait, you, wait, you say that? Wait, Jacques say that? Yeah, Jacques is definitely not here. Jacques is not leaving until he makes some noise. <laughs> like, I don't know. Even though I think I sound more Russian than I do French. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way that it's gonna go. <laughs> he's got he got this big stupid grin on his face. <laughs> right. You can see it perfectly through my face. Mask. That's true. You can see this. You can see the big stupid grin on his face mask. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so good. Oh yeah, he, I do have a I do have a thing on too. That's, right. that's true. Well, I do have a thing on as well. Hey. So. So yeah. Uh, he's <clears throat> okay. So. Jacques, all right, so Jacques wants to make noise. Uh, <laughs> so I just gotta look at Valdis and be like, you need to go. I'll wait for you to get out with them, and I'll follow behind you. We'll let Jacques make some noise. <laughs> you can only make noisy characters. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna wait until Valdis begins leaving. So you're gonna hold like a dash action to move when she moves. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So yeah, that's what I'll that's what I'll do. Got it. <clears throat> so then, as you're as you're holding, uh, they're gonna start attacking that door. I'm just gonna roll attacks for. Uh, actually, only two of them can can access the door, but um, the ones behind them are gonna assist them, I guess. Mm -hmm. so it's, just so it's, against them. Yeah, they're just like pushing at each other. So uh, there's gonna be four rolls for two attacks. And so that's a fourteen yeah. and a fifteen. Or plus any bonuses or. That's to hit. Uh, why was I rolling a solid around a solid d twenty? Anyway, so it's a fourteen and a seventeen. Okay, yeah. Yeah, fourteen and a seventeen. <clears throat> and interesting how much damage they do average. Hmm. It's gonna take them a while to get through this door, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Jacques will make quick work. <laughs> they don't need to attack anymore. <laughs> Alright. It's your turn. This is Jacques. Oh, Jacques' turn? We haven't gotten out of here yet. <laughs> so, you have time. <laughs> Jacques got good as one action and place a turret down in front of him <laughs> oh. all right i think that's a bonus action it, too. It, yeah and then i'm going to use my other bonus action <laughs> my bonus action and i'm going to deploy another turret in front of me <laughs> 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 and i'm going to stand and wait <laughs> so he takes oh, oh he takes these set like these smgs with like apparatus built around it out of his coat and just like gives it a shake and his legs come down and they plop onto the floor and he presses a button and they just and aim at the front of this uh this basement door oh my gosh that's that's your turn <laughs> All right, I think you guys better start running. <laughs> um, Valdis is running. Um, she's going to look around outside. Uh, she's going to spend her action to make a perception check to um, get out of uh, where she wouldn't be seen. I guess that would be a stealth check, actually. Because, like... Yeah. That'd be a stealth check. Actually, she's she is gonna make a perception check. She's gonna look around and make sure that no, uh, there is nobody uh, watching. So she's not going to start moving yet. Mm. 
All right, she looks around, makes sure, makes sure that the coast is clear. Uh, there are, uh, she points out to anybody who's around that there are people now starting to pay attention to uh, what's going on. Nothing has happened yet, but like, that was a loud, that was a loud noise. And people are like, what's going on? Did somebody's, you know, something backfire? Uh, but nobody has like seriously gone and started to investigate. And she is going to uh, move at her normal walking speed. Just, you know. Like she owns the sidewalk, just heading to her car. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna move out of there too at 40 movement. As, as you start to move away though, can I say, you know, um, I'll call when Cuz is clear. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get to all of you guys. You guys leave. I'll get to all of you whenever it's all done. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Clay, Clayton, you're up right now. You like up next. All right. Yep. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Seeing this all about to go down, I'm just gonna turn to Jacques and be like, uh, "I'll have you know that if you get caught doing uh, doing any of this nonsense, it'll be very difficult to legally absolve you of that." I'm gonna give him encouragement, and <laughs> but I'll try my best. Uh, and no. I'm gonna. Quick question though: Will the encouragement work on? And a tool attack for my turret. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's yeah, the turret uh, attack check or save. Yeah, that you know, turret still makes making, an attack. Yeah, you're making the attack roll, so yeah, gotcha. you can still use it. Um, so yeah, that's a D8 to uh, any D20 roll you make in the next ten minutes, or one D20 roll of your choice within the next ten minutes. And I'm going to start. Um, I still have my action available, so I'm also yeah. going to kind of move cautiously and stealthily, or like you know, like a you know, obviously, I don't think there's too much on the on the suburban street to hide behind, but like stealthily, as in nonchalantly. Yeah. You know, kind of making, um, walking all casual, like not dashing, you know, toward my vehicle. Yeah. So would that require a stealth check to look casual or? Um, I didn't require it for Valdis, okay. so I'll say that yeah. just uh, j like, because you're not actually stealthy, you're not like moving between bushes mm -hmm. and cover. So this is just like actually make a charisma check, I guess, to uh, so appear casual. Composure? Yeah, keep yeah, <laughs> just like a, 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 a just a raw charisma check to see if you're just like it's supposed to be here. I'm all right. I'm just, yeah, yeah, you're all right. Now my suit. Just train out your suit and it's just yeah. Oh. And, and, just like if like anybody was coming through. Exactly. Uh, nobody is watching, but if they were, they would just be like, oh yeah, that's a. Uh, that's a door-to-door -door salesman right there. <laughs> yeah, I got my attaché case and stuff. Yeah, actually, that's a really good little, deception. Little briefcase. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> it is Eli's turn. Malik, you're up next. All right. So he gonna shove this computer back together. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, and using the same technology check you had made before to okay. take it apart, you can put it back together. Uh, and it looks like it hadn't been touched. You shove it back into its little <laughs> spot under the Cubby under ball. the desk. <laughs> nice. And now you have uh, her uh, her drive. Nice goal. Um, can you? Goal. He... Hmm. Oh boy, this is gonna be difficult. Um. What my plan was was to get everybody out and then. Re no, we're out. <laughs> there is yeah, only I two people left inside. <laughs> Me and. Well, there's uh, there's you, you there's right? yeah there's you there's Jacques and a whole lot of guns, <laughs> a whole lot of turret guns. And 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 Eli is okay with this. Um, so his plan was to get everybody out and then reactivate the alarm system mm -hmm. um but i don't, I don't think, think really that matters, matters. <laughs> 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 looking at what shocks do this all carefully and it's just like you, they're gonna come back and bullet holes all over the place <laughs> it, it's weird there's no signs of a break-in the alarm system's still on and it's been shot to shit <laughs> careful man that he normally is he's just gonna try with his bonus action dash get back out the window <laughs> yeah so you're going the back way 
Yeah. Dive okay. out the back. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> yep. As, <laughs> yep. As as a, uh, actually, I'm gonna uh, to to do this in combat uh, or in initiative. I'm gonna require you to make a, an athletics check to get out this oh, uh, window. Sweet. Athletics sweet. or a acrobatics, whichever one's higher. Athletics. Let's see. Uh, oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please be good. Oh, my God. That's not good. <laughs> You're able to get out of the... Uh, to scramble your way out of the uh, window and close it behind you uh, without losing too much speed. All right. All right, cool. How far... To is get that from as far as I can get is out the window, or yeah, to get out, get? to get out the window would be all of your movement. But you're okay. able to, uh, but you didn't like fumble and or trip. Okay, good. <laughs> These old bones. <laughs> He's feeling a meal. <laughs> mm. All right. I mean, you can you can at least move. <laughs> so true. we've got, uh, we got uh, Malik up. Who is? Are you just like? Striding alongside these uh, these other two. Yeah, I mean, you know, you just gotta get out. <laughs> yeah, just gotta get out and yeah, just gotta get. Are you are you, go, are you doing your full movement? Yeah. 40. Okay, because yeah, so you're. Well, I guess actually, you and Clayton are are keeping pace. Meanwhile, uh, Valdis is uh, leisurely taking your time at a measly 30 feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. This is our casual walk. <laughs> yeah, so Malik and Clay are, are on the way out. Baldus is on her way out. Eli, you're in the back of the um, building. Uh, it is... Uh, unless, Malik, you're going to do anything particular unless you're just going to get out. Um, I mean, I guess just kind of keeping an eye around the area as we're going through. Yeah, yeah. As well, other otherwise, like if nothing is happening, if there's nothing of note, then yeah, you seem to have out. yeah, you seem to have made it out of there just in time before people started uh, considered like you know, uh, you know, considering you know, getting out of their houses and looking around, but okay, it is. So it seems we've escaped. But... It seems you've escaped, and then Jacques' so... turn is up next. However, I'm going I'm to make. This back to... Back to just. Geez, oh man! Falling. Oh man! Um, well, we've reduced this back to uh, just. Yes, you are uh, now. Their initiative. We have yeah. You are now out of combat, for, until uh, the shock stuff goes off. Eli, you're able to get out into the woods and take the same route you took a re like you know around back to get in, uh, okay. through and meet them meet everybody outside of this little neighborhood. Alright. He does. He does yep, that. Yep. <laughs> so everyone's able to get out pretty uh pretty easily. Um After a while, you uh Jacques you're sitting there with your turrets standing by and you continue to hear the like the knocking of the zombies on the on the door and they just it just keeps knocking and knocking. The door is knocked looser and looser and looser until an arm pops through and bricks uh, through this door and another one and they eventually knock down this basement door and are now filing one by one into the hallway so like are we talking like this is just happened or is it over a lapse of time this is over a lapse of time this is taking several rounds for them to get through this door <laughs> well before like whenever they would have started attacking the door and it would have been my turn that time yeah. I would have grabbed my phone, looked at the time, gave myself about 45 minutes. Okay. At, at max. So, like, I want to be gone in 45 minutes. So, every time that they bang on that door and they haven't crept through, I'm looking at the phone to see how much time is elapsing. <laughs> and it, at the 10 minute mark, if they have not made it through that door in the 10 minute mark, I'll break the door down. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, screw this. I'm just going to open the door. <laughs> like, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, they're able to open the door at approximately, let's say, 36 seconds into into you waiting okay. for them. <laughs> okay. uh, they're, they're trying to get out. They're mad. Uh, and the door bursts open. 
So my held actions, I'm assuming I had, had for some time. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Your continual okay. held actions. Now, I'm only allowed to hold an action, not a bonus action, correct? This is correct. Shut up, shut up. Okay, so I can only fire one. <laughs> then when it's my turn, I can fire off the other two. Yes, you, um... Yeah, you can do that. So, okay. but, well, uh, like, since, like, we're out of initiative right now, basically, because this yeah. is not going to be... There's, this is not a fight. <laughs> okay. Well, my, my held action would have been I'm going to use a shot grenade. As soon as the door opens, I'm throwing a shot grenade. As they come up from damage, they'll get wrecked by the turrets. I'll pick them up. I'm bleeding. Okay. <laughs> so, my held action, I'm going to throw a shot grenade at them. All right. So, uh, whoever's in that little... little a hallway of a basement gonna get hit. I'll say that for the purposes of this, um, uh -huh. you throw your shot grenade as they all file into the hall into the hallway, and there's not too much room for them to, to uh, maneuver about. So uh, a number of them are stunned and deafened, and another of uh, a number of them aren't. But no, no, there's no, no, too no, much no, confusion. They won't, get, they won't get stunned and deafened with a shock. Oh wait, wait, the shot grenade this is. is oh, this is the pulse yeah, grenade just, that was that did that. Just damage, yeah, just damage. That's okay. Was, just damage. Whatever survives, is gonna get hit by my turrets. Okay, so you're not doing the turrets first. You're just doing the shot grenade. Yes, yeah, straight up shot grenade first. Okay, you throw down the shot grenade. Roll the the damage. Mm-hmm. So no, no, right now. Six. I had that backwards. I had sixty-eight. Twenty-four. All right. Here's the save. And it's a mobility it's a save. Mobility like. save. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's, that's a negative. That's a negative. Yeah. So that's two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're 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 all taking full damage. Let's just see. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah, huh. Okay, so they all take full damage, and they all <laughs> they all uh, are shocked, and they stand there for a bit, just as the electricity um, passes through them, and they all just like are smoldering, and bits of their flesh are flying off everywhere, and um, they all survived. Oh, shit. They're they don't look. They, they, they're not. They're not looking too good. <laughs> they look basically like barbecued humans now. <laughs> well, like the first one, I'm assuming is the weakest because that was the one that was on me, and he took ten points of damage. Then just took twenty four. Oh wait, no, right? Because the, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, they're right. They had taken the pulse grenade damage before, so yeah, with that, they're all. Um, they're all incinerated, one, leaving. One, sur one surviving though, because the one didn't take. Or one only took like half damage, right? Oh no no, uh, they have twenty four. They have twenty five health. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> final one. I'm just gonna. Uh, when it comes back to my turn, action. I'm picking one of my turns up. Bonus action. Picking the other one up. Yeah yeah. So there's. <laughs> so, so you're leaving a smoldering pile of corpses in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even need to put my turrets down, but it got everybody to leave. Like, oh, he got this. <laughs> of course, um, as that grenade goes off, too, there is a loud uh, bang, and now uh, everyone who can hear, or everyone who is outside now hears that people are actually starting to move around and being like, you know, it's like, hey, what's that? What's going on over there in that house? And I'm going to leisurely walk out, and then I'm going to do... Um, the front or the back? <laughs> Uh, I'm walking right out the front. All right. Oh, no. But I'm walking right out the front. It's like 36 seconds later. What has arrived? <laughs> I know. <laughs> if the cops came before people called, I'm, what the hell's going on here? Nothing like a, cop. Yeah, no, there's still some time to get out, obviously, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, after yeah, that yeah, explosion, okay. after that explosion, people are starting to get curious. Oh, and after I the second that. explosion, people are starting to get really curious. I, I have fully understand that, but I'm gonna do some agent D stuff and do some hides and stuff. Let's see. It would be easier to do that going out the back. Mm. Like, 
like like you saying I have to roll disadvantage on stealth or no. It would just be easier to do that going out the back. Because going out the front, you're going to be passing through, uh, basically, a, all the houses are facing inwards towards, uh, you know, the path that you would be taking. Oh, uh, that's not my, my guy's, hmm. You can still do it. You can still oh, do yeah. it. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> okay. Roll a stealth just check. Kind of, yeah. And, um, if I don't make it, I got this encouragement. Oh yeah, still got that. Might as well just roll it because you're not going to do anything else yeah, with that. I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to use it at all for anything else. And this is this. And that is that. Okay, so there's a stealth. Uh, Ooh, that was very close. And make that 28. 28? Mm-hmm. All right, so... You walk out of there nonchalant with uh, just like, these briefcases. These briefcases. You close the door behind. You look around, and then immediately just like dart off into the the bushes and the sh uh, the shadows of the houses and make your way eventually to the front of uh, the neighborhood with everybody else. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> it takes you a little bit. It takes a little bit longer to go from shadow to shadow, but you are eventually able to make it, and everyone else uh, sees Jacques approaching. <laughs> I'm stuff. I should be like, like knight. Well, okay, you don't. Yeah, with a 28, you with a 28, you don't see Jacques approaching unless Jacques wants you to see him approaching. But I imagine once you're once you're out of there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Once once I clear people's eyes that care. Yeah, about something, yeah. I'm no well, to be there. fair. I'm probably out of there by then. <laughs> You're like, like long gone. I lined in for my for my car, and I'm just like driving away. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and we'll just like I'll, we'll meet up later. I just yeah. don't want to we'll be around. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about this once. Uh, we'll talk about this later. But you don't want to be here when the cops get here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Jacques, Jacques is okay. Yeah. <laughs> So, you guys have gotten out of the uh, that suburban neighborhood with a whole lot of information. You've, you've acquired her actual entire hard drive, as well as her personal notes on um, the contacts that she has acquired, as well as what she is selling to everybody. Um, and you've pretty much raided her little personal uh, workshop that she had of all of its uh, goods. Did anybody else take like the nozzles and stuff? No. Nah. Oh well, I only took paracord, five scrap, and four batteries. Oh, well, there you go. So there's a nozzle, a canister, and one box of nails. If anybody else wanted it earlier, I don't think nobody I took, took it. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, I think I think you were the only one in that room. That is also true. <laughs> So yeah, you 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 got some stuff from that uh, from that room. Um, just some, you know, some scraps that she had left around. But you make it, you make it out of there with a whole bunch of information that you can now use to see if there's any, if maybe perhaps what happened to her or at least what she was selling and where to get that. And that is uh, the first episode of First Degree. Hey. Hey, thank you for coming out. I don't think anybody was in the chat, but uh, it was fun. Indeed, indeed. Some things didn't go exactly how I planned, with um, <laughs> uh, or or not how I planned, but how I thought they would go, with uh, some certain stuff, which is amazing because like, I don't know, which is amazing because it's better, right? Because it's like, oh <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's just funny. So thank you all for coming out. It has been a blast. Uh, we'll be returning next Friday as they pour over this this new horde of information that they've uh, gotten. And Titan's about to hit the books. <clears throat> about to hit the books. About to do. Everyone's going back into research mode, but like at least they've got something to look at now. So we will see you all next Friday. Uh, Raf, are you gonna be streaming again throughout the week? More Resident Evil? Uh, possibly. Well, it won't be Resident Evil. We're pretty much done. Okay, you finished. We need to yeah. Do there. Yeah. Without, there is to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But you'll be streaming throughout the week. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you all for coming out. We will see you all next time. Peace.
Squared, good night, sweet dreams, all of the good things. Have a good night. God bless.